Hello? Hi. Hi, Cliff. Yes? Hey, Cliff. It's uh, it's Steve from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. I- I'm just calling to let you know that we're canceling Christmas this year for the whole neighborhood. Y- you're doing what? We're, we're, <laughs> we're canceling Christmas. It turns out Santa Claus isn't even real. They can hear you. <laughs> oh, are, are we on speaker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we we uh, we got confirmation from uh, the home office, and they say that Santa Claus is not real. So we're canceling Christmas for the whole neighborhood. Hi, please. What did it say? You said canceling Christmas. Hey, can you tell those kids to shut up? We're trying to talk here. Uh, what did you say? I, I said, can you tell the kids to please shut up? Because we're trying to have an adult conversation. So just... About canceling Christmas? Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you know we're, we're not going to do Christmas this year. Santa's not even real. Who is this? This is Steve Dave from the Home- Homeowners Association. Steve Day? Where, 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 where do you live? I'm over on Pelican. Oh, what do you do and tell my kids to shut up? Well, they were being noisy and, and very annoying and irritating. So I, I was just, I wasn't telling them. It's your fault you put us on speaker. I was just asking you to tell them to shut up. And then you're telling me Christmas is over? Why are you telling me this? Well, it's not over. We're just not going to do it anymore. It's canceled permanently. Like, we're, we're not doing it in this neighborhood. It's uh, We're going to make it a new rule in the homeowner's guide. What does that mean? Like you can't put up lights or something? Yeah, pretty much, or presents or anything. Um, just it's... Oh, but I gotta let you know, you ever tell my kids to shut up again, I mean you are gonna have a real problem, just so you know. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I mean... You don't they, do that. They were being... I don't know if you knew that. You must not have kids. They were being noisy, and they were talking back to me. Are you a father? Uh, no, no, I'm not. But they, See, they... That's why you don't understand how offensive you just what you just did is when they're just kids having fun. And you tell them there's no Christmas, and then you tell them to shut up. Well, no, I didn't tell them to shut up. I told you to ask them to shut up. Okay, well, whatever. Like, you don't say, I don't even teach them the word shut up. Well, I'll, now they, they know it because you put me on speaker. Oh, okay, so this is my fault. And then you're telling me I'm glad you're admitting is canceled? It. Yeah, Christmas has been canceled. I'm not admitting anything. I'm not condoning your behavior. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, your kids were being very irritating, so I don't think it's my fault. There are kids. You don't understand kids. It's obvious. That's how I knew you yeah. didn't have any. But if, if, I have, if I had kids, they would never be irritating. They would be against the rules. Oh. And what, what, I gotta write your name down. This I would tell them to shut up all the time. <laughs> what, what is your name again? But I wouldn't have to, because they wouldn't be like that. What is your name again? My name What's is, your name again? My, my name's Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Yeah. It's, it's all one word. I had it legally changed to just Steve Dave. Oh, okay. And where do you live again? I'm over on Pel- Pelican? Pelican, yeah. So, uh, are you the... What, how, who are you in the Homeowners Association? Uh, I, I just... Uh, I work here at, at the office. I, I just kind of um, in, uh, rule enforcement and, you know, um, just... It's the whole Santa thing. We we, we weren't expecting this. It just turns out he's... What's your phone he's, number? He's not real. What's, like, your, what's your phone number? Are you telling me you think Santa's still real? What's your phone number? It's on your caller ID. No, it's not. It says unknown. What's your phone number? Well, the phone number is there, though. I'm telling you right now, McFly, the phone number's not there. What's your phone number? Well, just look on, a, diff- phone number? Look on a different caller ID number? box. What's your phone number? And, and my last name's Dave. It's not McFly. What yeah. is your phone number? Um. Okay, well, it's area code 63. Okay. And they're still being kind of loud, you know? Like, is there any way you could just tell them? what? To- can you just tell them to be quiet real quick? Complete a thought. I'm, I'm not, 633 what? I'm not saying the word shut up. I'm saying be quiet. If, 633 what is your phone number? No, it, it starts with and then 633. 633, what is the rest? What are the last four digits? You don't know your phone number? Well, I, No, I do. It's just it's hard to hear you over what those annoying it? kids what that you have. It? Those annoying kids, kids of yours. What's your address again? Uh, I'm over on Pelican. Look, I don't know why you're giving me shit. I'm just letting you know that Christmas has been canceled. No, has not, idiot. What's your phone number? Oh, I'm the idiot. You're the one that's not even a good father and doesn't know how to make your kids what? be quiet. What's your phone number? I already gave it to you. You're a coward. Pussy. Go to the go-go places and I don't 
Hi everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad Carter, and this is episode 602. It's brought to you by Raiden Digital, Sean L., B.I. Ever for Life, Sim Speak, and Boca Recovery Center. Thanks all five of you for supporting the show and making all the shows happen. Those are a few of the people who support the show on patreon.com slash phone losers and other various things. Thank you to the new people who've signed up recently, like Eric E. and Michael W., Chad Millionaire, Randall Thor, Jared M., Gordon B., Matt, and Alicia D. Those are some of the recent Patreons. Thanks, everybody, for signing up and supporting the show. You should, too. When you do that, you get an extra show every week. Hopefully even this week with Christmas happening in the middle of it. No guarantees, though. Today is December 23rd, by the way, 2019. Holy shit, it's going to be Christmas soon. Thanks, everyone who sent things to me. Like, Rhino Knife sent me a signed photo of Carrot Top. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. And then Ryan Jardina, he sent me a cool little, uh, I don't know, would you call it like a binary clock or something? It's got pretty lights on it. That's all that matters to me. I still haven't figured out how to work it. And then People's Karma Squad, he sent me some stickers. He sent me a... uh, I don't know what this would be. It says Pep Club on it. It's a weird Indian thing. Possibly racist. I don't know. He sent me some socks. A pair of brand new socks. I assume they're brand new. They look brand new. And a a candy bar and an old Pez dispenser. Basically, he just emptied out his junk drawer in here. Oh, look at this. A bottle of Tylenol PM. Extra strength. 24 caplets. There's some stickers and some chocolates and some old buttons. Thanks, People's Karma Squad, for this. I'm sure all this stuff will be super useful for me. And thanks other people who've sent me just random things, like I got a few Christmas cards and stuff. And hopefully I sent, you know, like zines back to you or something at least. So yesterday I did a live show. I think I'm going to date this show as December 22nd, even though I just said it's December 23rd. It is December 23rd right now. I'm recording this the day after I did a live show. I did a live show yesterday on Sunday, and it was a bunch of mall calls. It was a lot of fun. And that's what you're about to hear right after this brief musical interlude by Frankie McDonald. This was put together by Mr. Biggs. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing, jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing in a bushel of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in a jingle bell square. In a frosty air. What a bright time. It's a right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is as well time. To go gliding in the one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle bell around the clock. Mixing and mingling the jingle feet. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell rock. Take care. Stay safe. Hi, everybody. I'm doing a Christmas show. Take care. We're going to do Christmassy things. Basically, I'm just going to be calling up a bunch of stores in a mall and, you know, being silly at them. It's going to be good times. Hopefully, 
usually I go alphabetical. You know, I should, hold on, I'm gonna scroll through this just slowly real quick, see what all they have. I've really been wanting to call a uh, religious store ever since Devin gave me the idea to like save Christmas as Santa by crushing a uh, uh, nativity scene. But yeah, I don't see one in here. I think those are all going out of business. What a bummer. But yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna go backwards. Usually I go forward. We always end up calling the same shows at the beginning, like uh, Air Apostle and American Eagle and uh, Amber Crombie and Fitch. We'll start from the end of the list this time. Maybe we can, yeah, we, we can start with Zoomies. So uh, we're live in the, the Mixler chat room, mixler.com slash is this thing on. I'm also live on the Shoutcast, which you can find by going to phonelosers.com. It's up there in the sidebar. It's a better option if you don't have a lot of data or if I'm coming in choppy. Hey, everyone in the chat room. Looks like there's 61 people listening on the Mixler machines. I wrote down an idea that Seven had earlier from the chat room. Uh, this is Santa. I'm just calling to let you know I don't like you. I think that would be kind of fun. I think I'm going to do that. Let's let's start out with that one. Oh, wait. Should I do the Santa voice? That might get annoying. Hello, hello. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. That's a little too low. I never know where to put this thing. Thanks for calling. Well, this is Dallas speaking. How can I help you? Hey, is this Doll, you said? No, Dallas. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, this is... Sorry about that. What? Well, what's up? Oh, hey, th this is Santa Claus. I'm the Santa here in the mall, uh, you know, doing the photos here in the mall. Yeah. And I'm calling to let you know that I don't like you. All right. Uh, I'd just like everyone to know that Seven's idea sucks. It's a terrible idea. It's not working. Is my voice too deep? It's hard for me to tell. Maybe it sounds fake. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Devin, for reminding me. We're playing bingo tonight. I, I wasn't even planning on playing bingo tonight. But everyone should go to this URL. It's worldofprankcalls.com slash bingo. Uh, you can use the main bingo card on there, or you can download one of 30 other bingo cards. There's no way for me to track it. You're just going to have to let me know that you got bingo. I don't know. We should, just everybody use the main card. I just want to see if that could actually happen one day. I could actually get a bingo during a show. So, yeah, worldofprankcalls.com slash bingo. Print it out or just write on your screen with a, a dry erase marker. <laughs> that would work, I think. Prank call bingo. Everybody loves playing bingo in 2019. Hey, Jasmine. Yeah. Um, this is the Santa Claus here in the mall. Uh huh. And um, I, you know the one that's doing the photos. Yeah. I'm just calling to let you know that I don't really like you. Oh, you don't really like me? No. I'm, it, I mean, I feel bad saying that. You know, it's just I just don't like you. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Thanks, Santa. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Great. I'm, I'm glad I got that off my chest. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you like, I mean, like just as, a, just as a general person, do you like me? Do I like Santa? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm very sorry I don't like you. It must be extra, an extra crushing blow to... <laughs> To know that I don't oh, no, like it's you. Fine, thank you. It's it's good to know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the personal. Like, if I see you, I'll be nice to you. But you just got to realize that I don't actually like you while I'm interacting with you. Hello. Hello. Sorry, what was that last part? I, I'm just saying that. Like, is this a different person? Is this not Jasmine? No, it is Jasmine. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, if if you and I were to have a conversation or whatever. I'll, I'll be nice to you and everything. I'm just, I don't actually like you. Okay. But, but I'll I be. I appreciate you letting me know. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just, yeah, okay. 
All right. Well, uh, okay. I got I got to get back to to photo taken here. All right. Well, I hope it goes well. All right. Hey, you look nice today. Thank you. Mm, goodbye. Bye, Santa. Uh, Alla Mosey or whatever uh, said you look nice in the chat room. <laughs> That's where that came from. <laughs> oh yeah, crispy. I should have said she gets a lump of coal this year. Silly me. Oh yeah. Okay. Bef- before we start anything, is this a, like a multi-level? No, I think this is a single-level mall. Uh, I'm gonna go to the website real quick and see if it tells me where Santa is. Oh, it says he's in the J.C. Penny seating area. Wait, so he's in J.C. Penny? Want to avoid the line? Reserve your place today with Fast Pass. <laughs> Pay extra money to wait in line for Santa. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so the J.C. Penny seating area that w- that would be like in the back or something, wouldn't it? That's not like out in the mall. That's pretty lame. Maybe I should go to a different mall. Wilbur. Hey there. Um, this is Santa Claus from the from here in the mall. You know, over by the J.C. Penny. D- doing the photos. I'm sorry, I can't really hear you. It's okay. cutting off. Okay, I think it's because it's so loud there. Go to a quieter place. This is Santa. This is Santa Claus doing the photos here in the mall. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Okay, yeah, the other lady. Okay, anyway, this is Santa. I'm here in the mall. You know, I'm over by the J.C. Penny doing the photos. Yeah. From, uh, yeah, J.C. Penny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, I, I'm not proud of this, but just hear me out. Uh, Mrs. Claus is coming up to your place right now, and she's really pissed. She found out I was cheating, and I told her it was from it was with the girl at the Wild Berry Yogurt place. How old are you? How old am I? What What's that matter? It doesn't matter. We're not actually cheating. I mean, I'm probably too old for you. Okay, if I see her, I'll send her right back over. Don't worry. Okay, well, no, I'm just saying, like, can you just go along with it? Can you just say it was you? Okay. Because otherwise she's going to find out who it really is, and that's really going to piss her off. Okay, I'll send her right back over to you, okay? okay? Well, no, no, no. no. If, if Mrs. Claus comes there, can you apologize? Please? Yeah, I'll send it right back over to you, okay, sir? Oh, Don't oh, worry about it. Okay, yes, but... It'll but be all okay. You won't be in trouble. Before, Okay, but before you send her back to me, you're going to admit that it was you and apologize? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, have a nice day, sir. Okay, oh, yeah. you, you too. Goodbye. That was sort of an idea from Dr. Mrs. The McNasty need an apology gift for Mrs. Claus because she found out about the side chick. Maybe I'll actually do that one too, though. <laughs> I always just ruin ideas. I just change them all around and mess them up. All right, here's a, a Wetzel's Pretzel. It's out in the middle of the mall. Wetzel's Pretzel, this is Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn? Yes? Uh, this is Santa from here in the mall over by the, the J.C. Penny, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, um, I, I'm sorry, but I dinged your car. The mall told me which car was yours. I'm sorry, I dinged it. You dinged my car? Yes. Oh, like really bad? Well, not really bad. I was, um, oh, it's so embarrassing. I was, I was inside your car, hot boxing before my shift. You were inside my car? Yeah, it was unlocked, so I, I just, I, I was in there, and I was hot boxing, and as I got out, uh, the seatbelt came up, and um, it got jammed in the door, and it kind of, like, just dented the outside of the door a little bit. It just kind of, you know, how the seatbelt, sometimes it didn't close all the way. Okay. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry that I dinged your car. I mean, you, Give me one you, second. you probably won't even notice. Give me one second. What, what are you doing? Uh-oh. She's running out to her car. Did we just figure out a new way to do cardings without notes? Because if so, that's pretty amazing. I could have been doing cardings all... 
Oh, was she listening? <laughs> Seriously, I could have been doing cardings all last September by just doing that. And saying, hey, this is uh, so-and-so from another store. I dinged your car. The mall office told me which car was yours. Maybe Ding Timber is back. It seemed like she's believing it, though. All right, here's another food court place. It's called Waffle Jack. A very strange logo. Never heard of Waffle Jack. Oh, she's right by the... Uh, I mean... Waffle Jack is right by the Wetzel's that I just called. It's a kiosk out in the mall. Oh, and that idea was um, sort of by, uh, uh, wait, I wrote it down. Oh, uh, inconsistencies in the chat. You are all getting cardings for Christmas this year. So uh, you can thank inconsistencies, inconsistencies for possibly bringing back cardings. Because I think we could apply this at other places, too, where, you know, they're indoors and they can't see their cars. And I was out there hot boxing. I should have said I dinged her car with my reindeer. Thank you for calling Waffle Jackson. My name is April. I can help you. Hey there. Uh, who's this again? Um, this is Waffle Jack. I, know, I, I meant your name, though. My name? Yeah, my name. Abel? Oh, Abel. Okay, yeah, that, that's who they told me to get a hold. This is Santa in the mall. You know, I'm doing the photos over by JCPenney. Can, can you hear me? I'm sorry, what was that? This is Santa. Oh, I can barely hear you. Okay, listen. This is Santa here in the mall over by the JCPenney. I'm the Santa Claus doing the photos. Uh-huh. Do, do you get that part? Yeah, I heard you. Okay. Well, you said you didn't hear me. Um, the mall, the mall office. They told me that it was you that were feeding. You know, the reindeer. They have those out in the parking lot, and you were feeding them waffles or something. What? And now they're they're like all they they got like diarrhea. And, oh, what a great idea, Doctor Mrs. The McNasty. That's a hard name to say. Damn it. Stop having a hard name to say. I'm going to call him back. No, he's not going to pick up. Okay, well, I'm going to do that with another food court place. Accuse him. Oh, he just picked up and hung up. Accuse him of giving my reindeer diarrhea. Uh, Mr. Biggs has an announcement. We currently have 69 listeners. And he says, nice. That's not including the people over on the Shoutcast. If there's anyone on the Shoutcast... I know I kind of kicked them all off by... Thank you for calling Victoria's Secret. Please wait while I transfer your call. Hey, Victoria's Secret, how may I help you? Hey, uh, this is the, the Santa Claus here in the mall over by JCPenney. Uh-huh. Hey, um, do you know um, Abel from the, the Waffle Waffle Jack? You know, the, no. You don't know him? No. Oh, because he, he came over here for his picture with me. And he was talking mad shit about you. That was Teen Wolf Jesus' fault. Thanks for that, Teen Wolf Jesus. I'm basically just throwing these all away. And I'm, I'm also kind of wondering if these people have been warned. They're like, yeah, this is the guy from last year being an asshole to everyone. Thank you for calling Verizon Wireless. We're Disney Plus on us. This is Myra. How may I help you? Hey there. Um... Is this a call center or is this the Verizon in the mall? Uh, this is a Verizon at the mall. Okay. Uh, do you know Abel from the, the waffle place? The waffle place in the food court? No. Oh. oh this is Santa over at the, by the JCPenney. You know, I'm doing the photos. Okay. okay. Uh, Abel came over here to get his photo done with you. Did you just put me on speaker? No. Oh, man, it sounds terrible. Um, yeah, Abel came over here uh, to get his photo done with me, and he was talking mad shit about you. Okay. And I just thought you should know. Okay, me specifically? Yeah, you. Oh, I mentioned okay. mentioned you by, by name and everything. I, I just didn't know, like, if you and him had a history. Like, he wouldn't really elaborate on what, why he hated you so much, but he was just, man, he was talking mad shit. It's crazy. Okay. 
Well, thanks for letting me know. Is there anything else I could do for you? Um, do you want to come down and get a photo with me? Because uh, on my list here, it shows that you haven't been here yet to get a photo with me. Honestly, we are extremely busy, so um, I don't have time for this. So I'm, is there anything I can assist you with, or, you know, I need to hang up? Ma'am, I'm a Verizon customer, okay? Okay, so um, honestly, people talking about me, I don't care. So is there anything I can assist you with, um, regardless to Verizon? Okay, well, did, did the mall let you know that you're supposed to come over here to where I am, to my throne, and pay your respects to Santa? And you may you have well, a great day, sir. You may as well just get a photo while you're here, right? Right? You have a great day, sir. I'm, I'm having a great day. Let's see who's next. Vans. They're off the wall. That's in their logo. Off the wall. Oh, you know what that is. What's, what's Vans? Oh, action sportswear. Footwear. Sportswear. They're calling me Vans. This is Mike. How can I help you? Hey, Mike. Uh, this is Santa here in the mall over by the JCPenney. Okay. You know, doing the photos and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, what were you, what were you feeding the reindeer out in the parking lot? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, sir. Well, the mall office showed me the, the security tapes. And we, we saw you out there, like, feeding something to the reindeer. You gave him diarrhea. Oh, that's unfortunate, because I haven't been outside in the parking lot at all today. Oh, the, yeah, that's, that's real believable. How'd you get into the mall then? Yeah, have a great day, sir. How'd you get into the mall? Fucking teleport or something? I think I'm just going to try and get some info out of this place. Urban Decay, this is Sandy. How may I help you? Hi, Sandy. This is Stacy from the mall office. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, did you get the memo we sent out about the uh, the prank calls? No, we did not. Okay. Um, you know, we're a, we're a part of Macy's, so if you guys do send anything, it usually goes to okay. Macy's and then they'll let us know. Ma'am, stop yelling at me. Stop yelling. So, <laughs> whatever. I want to know if they've been warned. Mr. Biggs wants me to call Hot Topic. Say Santa needs something edgy so the troubled youths take take him more seriously. Take me more seriously. I'll do that as soon as I get to a... Uh, I'm trying to go in alphabetical order. I don't know when the next uh, youthy place is going to pop up. It looks like it's going to be a while. Tell them I need extension cords for what? What do I need extension cords for? This is a T-Mobile store. Hey, Prime Mobile, nice adjusting. How can I help you? Hey, is this the T-Mobile store? Yeah, the mall, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, hey, uh, this is the Santa here in the mall over at the J.C. Penny. Oh, hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, we're gonna be coming in there in a minute. Uh, one of one of the the elf helpers is gonna be coming in there with an extension cord. And we're gonna plug. Okay. We're gonna plug the extension cord into your one of your outlets in the wall. Do you have wall outlets, or can, should we just run it behind the counter or whatever? Let me double check on my manager. Okay, let me get him on the phone. Okay. Thank you for holding. My name is Will. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Will. This is uh, Santa over here by the J.C. Penney. You know, I'm doing the photos here in the mall. Yes, sir. Um, uh, uh, Chad's gonna be coming over. He's one of the helper elves. He's going to be coming over with a really long extension cord to plug into one of your outlets there. We're going to stretch it all the way to... You know that we're actually outside the mall, correct? Yeah, yeah, we're going to go out the doors with it and down the whole hallway. We've got a really long... Is there a reason why, is there a reason why you wouldn't want to connect to somebody that's inside the mall? Uh, nobody else will let us. Gotcha. But, okay, with that honestly being said, I have to check in with my corporate to make sure that it's possible. Oh, no, look, I'm Santa here in the mall. I just, I need the, the extra power for some stuff we're doing. I completely understand, but I would have to check with corporate. The printer's eating up too much of our electricity. We just, we're just going to bring it down there. It's not a big deal. It's fine. We're, we're taping it down so nobody trips over it. Let me check with corporate boss. Hey, I'm not your boss, chief. But um, there's no need to check with corporate because I'm actually Santa Claus. And it's right around Christmas. And maybe you should just show some respect. 
and just let us plug it in. It's All not right, a big... your phone number, please? What? Can I have your phone number, please? Oh, you don't have my phone number? I mean, you're a phone store. Are you going to tell me you don't have caller ID and it's not right there on your display? Hey, look All at right, that. I was, right I, I was right. It's, it's right there on your display. Look at that. Give me a call back. Was, was that just a power move, demanding my phone number like that? Talk to you later, buddy. Okay, look. I'm not your buddy, Chief. Um, Chad's on his way, though. All right. I wanted to tell him that I was, it was, it's for my, uh, my, my Bitcoin mining operation. <laughs> we got, I got to do that again. Uh, I forget who that was at this point um, in the chat room saying extension cord. Oh, yeah, Dick Delaware. Extension cords for lights. <laughs> I got to use a punch in the face calling me boss like that. All right, we've got a Tilly's. Men's clothing, women's clothing, surf, skate, moto, street clothing. Oh, hey, Th this sounds like a nice hip place, right, Mr. Biggs? How lame is that? You have a store and it's not even in the mall. It's like... <laughs> On an outside entrance, next to the entrance. It's like they're not good enough to be inside the mall. Probably affects his self-esteem. That's why he's got to call people boss and buddy and stuff. Next time I get called chief, I got I to gotta tell him that I'm, uh, I'm a native Indian, and I'm, that's very offensive to me. I'm not that high-ranking of an Indian, but the high-ranking Indian that I know would be very offended by that. All right, they're not picking up. Uh, I'll just let it ring. I'll let it ring. Good idea, Green Imp. I think that was Green Imp's idea. Oh, it stopped ringing. I don't know why. All right. Guess we're not calling Tilly's. Uh, we've got a Texas Roadhouse. Is that going to be in the mall? No, it is outside the mall. Um, I think on the opposite side of J.C. Penney. So I don't think we'd have a long enough extension cord to get over there. Darn. What could I say uh, to, to Texas... Texas Roadhouse, everyone. It's a restaurant. Quick, tell me. I'm Thanks for calling Texas Roadhouse. We're glad you called. To place a to-go order, press 4. Reservations oh, are not just, offered. Just, but to get on a Just go. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Operator? I thought it was a restaurant. Thank you for calling Texas Roadhouse. This is Georgia. How may I help you today? Hey, Georgia. This is the Santa Claus here inside the mall. You know, doing the photos. Yes, absolutely. And are you aware that your employees have been going out there and, and feeding the reindeer that are out in the parking lot? No, I am not. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and transfer you over to one of my managers, okay? Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. Veronica, how may I help you? Hey, Veronica? Yes. Uh, hey there, this is uh, the Santa over here in the mall, you know, over by the JCPenney. Okay. Hello. And, um, How can I help you? Hey there. Um, well, some of your employees have been walking out. We, we have our reindeer over there, you know, out in the parking lot. And uh, I don't know what you guys have been feeding the reindeer. We saw it on the security camera that your employees were feeding the reindeer something, and now they have diarrhea. Can, can you please ask your employees not to do that? Absolutely. And it's, it's, they've got diarrhea. Like, they're, they're just, like, they don't look good. I think they have heartburn or something. Okay. Do, do you know which employees that was doing that? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, can you can you find out without putting me on hold and playing that god awful music again? Um, I don't know a way that I could find out without putting you on hold. Can you just ask the nearest employee? I know which employees. Say who, who did it. Just walk around and ask who did it. Say, did you do it? Got it. Tell him. Did you feed that his reindeer? No. Did you feed Santa's reindeer? No. No, no, we're getting no response on who's feeding Santa's reindeer. Well, that was just two people. Let's keep going. We're going to figure this out. I have all day. <laughs> I don't. So are we done with this prank or are we still going? Pr it's not a prank. They, they, the reindeer have diarrhea. Okay. Well, I am not a vet. So if you want to call a vet, you can do that. But I have you have video, I would be happy to look at it and figure out which employee it was. Who's, who's, who's going to pay for the vet, you? 
Okay. Have a good day. Vets are not free, ma'am. I thought she was actually buying it at first. Asking the employees. That was great. All right. We're up to Target. I think I'm going to skip by Target. Who want, I don't want to call Target. What kind of mall has a Target as an anchor store? <laughs> we're getting really desperate now. We're like, we're running out of anchor stores. We'll take anyone at this point. All right. What's next, everyone? What am I doing with Sunglass Hut? Quick, tell me. Tell me. Tell me what to do. Hurry up. Or I'm going to do something really stupid. Thank you for calling. What's up? How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa over by the uh, the JC Penny. Right. Um, you have you have an outlet there, right? Like a, a plug a place to plug things in. Um. Yes. But where are you calling from? Uh, I'm I'm over by the JC Penny. This is Santa here in the mall. Okay. Why? Right. Why do you ask? Uh, just what do you need to plug in our store for? Something like that. Well, do do you uh, do you guys pay for the electricity, or does the mall pay for it? The mall does. Okay, cool. Well, you won't mind then. I'm I'm just gonna bring an extension cord down. The the one of the uh, helper elves is gonna bring an extension cord over. We're just gonna plug it into yours. Uh, no, we can't have anything running through the floor. Why not? Uh, to the outside. Why? That's just a want policy. We're gonna tape it down. We're gonna tape it down next to the wall. Yeah, no, like it's, uh, I'm in front of Sunglass Hut. So you're by Jesse Penny. That's literally like maybe like how many feet away? It's a it's um, far it's away. It's like way yeah. down the hall, but it's fine because we're gonna like you don't have to worry about that stuff out in the hallway. That's that's not even you. Yeah, we're taping we it down. We can't have anything sticking out. Yeah, we can't even have anything sticking out on the side of the walls of the store. We're taping uh, it down. We just we don't want this to be sorry, tra- we don't want this to be traced yeah. back to us. Yeah, sorry, so we can't do that. Why not? You're being an asshole. Like it's not that you can, it's that you won't. You're, sorry, like, sir. Uh, for no reason. Don't call, please don't call again. Thank you. Have a good day. What? What'd you say? What'd he say? <laughs> well, shit. What's next? Uh, sugar Nails. It's the premier destination for skin and nails. Yeah, cat. Sugar Nails. Durr. Located right by Target. Their anchor store, Target. Hey, is this uh, Sugar Nails? Yes. Hey, this is uh, this is Santa Claus over, uh, you know, over by the J.C. Penny. Yes. The guy, I'm I'm doing the photos. I'm the one. I'm the Santa. Okay. How you doing? We're good. That's. How about you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. You know, just taking photos and stuff. I'm actually busy over here. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's been a been a crazy day. How about that Christmas? Right. Yeah. Uh, the mall office told me which car was yours out there in the parking lot, and I just wanted to apologize. I I dinged your car. You what? I dinged your car. You know your car that's out there. I d- I dinged it by accident. Just a small ding. Um, it's not a big deal. Which, which car exactly? Uh, your car. You know that little car. So yeah. There's- there's a lot of little cars. Your, your car. The mall office told me which car was yours. I'm just calling to apologize. I dinged your car. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay. Um, do you need my insurance information? I honestly, I'm not sure because it, we have um, two cars here. Well, is, which car is yours? Mine. I don't have a car. Oh well, uh, who's the other person there with the car? Can you can you put them on? There's two people with cars. Oh, which what's their names? Uh, Vanessa and Annette. That was it, Vanessa. I knew it started with a V. Is Vanessa there? Yes. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. Here you go. <laughs> what? Oh, they just dropped off the car. Did you hear it? Hello. Hey, Vanessa, it's Santa here in the mall. It's who? It's Santa. I'm, I'm over by the J.C. Penny. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing the photos. This is, uh-huh. this is Santa Claus. Oh, uh, hi. Hi. Uh, did she tell you the bad news? Uh, no. Uh, I accidentally dinged your car. Oh, I didn't bring a car today. Oh, it must have been uh, the other girl. What was her name? Not Vanessa, but what was it? I forget. Annette? Oh, 
Annette? Is it Annette? I forget. Is that her name? Yeah. Why well, oh. did you want to talk to her? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I dinged her car. I'll break the news to her. You don't have to do it. Okay. Just put her on. Hello? Hello, Annette. Yes, is it? Oh, man. This is Santa over here at the JCPenney. You know, I'm doing the photos. Okay. The Santa at the mall. Um, uh-huh. The mall office told me which car was yours. I accidentally dinged it. I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah. It's not a big ding. It's just like a scrape along the side. How do you know it's me? Uh, the mall office told me which car. How do they know it's my car? <laughs> I don't know. Like they, they, you, have you ever been inside the mall office? They have like face tracking, and they, they, they it's like it's like Homeland Security in there. They, they have everything. They, they okay, know. so you hit it over here on the side of uh, Just Wing It and Red Robin. Yeah, because this is the first day that I've worked at this mall, and okay. I thought I thought I was over here. I thought you know Santa's thing was in front of the Target, but it's actually in front of J.C. Penney. So. Um, you know how they have me ride in on the reindeer? Yes. The they have there's this thing that sticks out um, on the sides, and okay. as I, I was going by your car, and it just scraped along the whole side of it. The whole side of it, or yeah. the whole back of it? The you know just the, along the back of it, the side of the back, as I was going by, because I just got too close to the car and this little wooden thing sticking out from the sleigh. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. So, how are you planning on on dealing with this then? Well, um, if I come in there and get my nails done and just leave a nice tip, is that cool? Um, I don't know if you're joking or not. No, I wouldn't joke. I'm Santa. You wouldn't joke because you're Santa. Oh, I'm also a Christian. You're also a Christian. I don't know what... I don't know um, if you're trying to play a joke or not, but if you would like, you could come in and you can come give me your insurance card and picture of your driver's license so we could handle it through insurance. Well, what about doing, just doing my nails or whatever, like... I don't, I don't think getting your nails done equals to you damaging my car. Plus a good tip. I'll tip, I'll tip nicely, you know, I'll, I'll throw in a couple 20s. Uh, it's not even. I don't that, know. It's not that much damage. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Regardless. I, I mean, mean, like the thing is, damage my car. It's not like I. I have insurance. I'm Santa. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you're joking because most people wouldn't keep staying character after they've hit somebody's car. I'm a character actor. You know, like I. I don't. In, yeah. In, until I. Until I clock out tonight, real, I am Santa. This is real, like, situation. You hit my car, so I'd like I to just, talk to I just scraped, you as a person. Yeah, I just scraped it a little bit. Well, I mean, while I'm here at the mall, it's you're going to talk to Santa. All right. Um, all right, well, I'm busy right now. I have a client. Um, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't, yeah. Getting an elves is an equivalent to whatever you did to my car. I, I don't could, know. Can I, can I send my elves out to, like, touch it up? Um, no. It's fine. I would use magic to fix it, but I'm not allowed to use magic on mall property. I've already oh, been okay. I've already been in trouble for that. Okay. Well, um yeah, I don't know if you're joking or not. Oh I wouldn't and joke. If you aren't if you aren't, then like I said, I would like for you to come and we can handle it through insurance or something, but I don't know. Other than that, yeah. No, I don't know. Okay, but just so you know I'm gonna be in character. When I come down there, like, you're going to ask for my insurance, and I'm going to pull out a scroll. Okay. And okay, then, thank be you. very Bye. comical. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. But, hey, um, do you do you forgive me at least? I, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on. Come on, please. Uh, is my voice too low? I think my voice is too low, isn't it? Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I should just do it that way. Hello, this is Santa. That's better. Shit. You guys, we can do cardings again.
Isn't that amazing? We can do cardings just by saying, saying we're in another store or whatever and, and not saying we dinged it with reindeer. It's time for uh, Ding Timber. Ding Simber, I mean. That's what it is. Ding Simber. This is the best idea ever. Um, thank you to uh, 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 I Consistencies for the weird carding idea. She's going to know it's not a prank, by the way, because first, I, you know, she was the third person I talked to. They're going to tell her. Vanessa's going to be like, yeah, he tried to tell me the same thing. He's full of shit. Where did Abel work? Uh, the Waffle Hut or something? What was it? What was that place called? Teen Wolf Jesus is saying it's time for more Abel calls. I agree. <phone rings> this place is called Stacy's and it's men's clothing. Hello, this is Jess from Stacy's. Uh, Jess? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, this is uh, Santa over here at the, you know, by the JCPenney. I'm doing the photos. Okay. Um, do you know of uh, Abel over at the Waffle Jack? No, I don't know anyone named Abel in the Waffle Jack. Okay. Well, you don't have to have an attitude with me, sir. I'm just I'm trying to let you know about something. All right, Rob. What do you want? What do you mean, Rob? Hello? I'm not Rob. Why'd you just call me Rob? I'm, this is Santa here at the mall over at the JCPenney. Okay. Why'd you call me Rob? I confused you for another person. What do you need? Okay. Uh, Abel was over here, you know, getting his photo taken. And I asked him what he wanted for Christmas. And he said, Jess from Stacy's. He's into okay. you. Okay. That's so fine. So I want to well, make... Tell him to have a good day. Um, you have a good day as well, and I'll call you back later, okay? What? No, I don't want you to call me back. I don't take calls. I'm Santa. Okay. Jess? Hello? Jess? Hello? Sir, let me put you on hold for a second. Why? Hello? Hello? What's going on? Is this, Je fine. Is this Jess? Who? Is this Jess? Jeff? No, no, we don't have a Jeff here. Who's this? Like, I got transferred over to you. Now, did, well, did, did you're calling the, the men's suit store at the mall here? Yeah, the men, men's suits called Stacy's. Yeah, I know that. This is Santa over at the J.C. Penney. I'm doing the photos today. Yeah. What, what was the guy's name that brought the phone over? Oh, the guy that, that answered the phone? Yeah. Was it, who was it, Jesse or Mervin? Who answered? It, it was Jesse. He, he Jesse, said, he yeah. Said, he said Jess. I didn't say Jeff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jesse, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's why I was confused. Anyway, do you know Abel over at the Waffle Jack? I don't know. Not me, myself, no. He's right here also, Jesse. You don't know who's oh. Abel? Okay, listen. Uh, Abel. There's another guy, Mervin. Maybe Mervin? No, no, no. Abel from the Waffle Jack, he came over and had his photo taken with me, and I asked him what he wanted for Christmas, and he said he's really into Jesse. And he wants Jesse. Oh, okay. He wants Jesse for Christmas. Oh, okay, okay. So, oh, yeah. can you can you help make that happen? Maybe can you walk him over to the Waffle Jack and introduce them to to each other? <laughs> tell, tell. Yeah, them. we'll we'll get him over. I'll get him over there. Hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, tell Jesse, like I can tell because he was sitting on my lap. Tell Jesse that Abel is hung like an elf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, it's a win-win for everyone. Okay, wow. Wow. <laughs> you said fucking wow. That was amusing. All right. Let's see. Next is the Shoe Palace. It's near the target. Call them the Shoe Palace. That's what we're doing. How's bingo going, everyone? Has anyone got bingo yet? I I didn't think to to print one out before I started my show, or I would have played along. Two Palace Vegas, this is Bingo. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is uh, Santa Claus over here by the J.C. Penny. Okay. You know, you know, doing doing the photos here in the mall. Yeah. Yeah. How how you doing? Good. How about yourself? Pretty good. I don't really have time for small talk though. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna. 
we're we're gonna be wheeling my throne and all of our equipment over into your store. We're gonna be setting up my photo booth inside your store. So can you make sure there's a big place cleared out for me, like right in the middle? I wanna be like front and center. Um, I doubt that's possible. Did you get this approved through anybody? No, I don't have to because I'm Santa. I can pretty much do what I want. That's cool. So, is there going to be a place cleared out at the front of the store? We just... I mean, you can pull up and try to make it happen. Okay, so we can move things around? Probably not. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're going to have to move some things around. We have to have, like, ten feet of, uh, you know, just empty space between me and the camera so we can get everything in the scene. Where are you trying to go with this conversation? Have a good one. You're really not getting anywhere with this conversation. Well, you don't have to be an asshole about it. I'm, I'm just letting you know we're coming down. We're going to be moving my stuff into your place. Okay, good luck with that, Ben. Bye. Okay. Can you put the, the lady on the phone? Can you put who on the phone? The lady that's, that's there. Who, who are you? You're not like a manager, are you? Yes, put, I am. Put somebody important on the phone. Bro, you, what are you trying to get out of this? You're not going to come down here and, like, no one got approved through anything. I know you're not a manager. You, you, you sound like a little kid. You don't act like a manager. Put somebody on the phone that has some authority to actually make decisions. You're talking to me, and that's who you're going to talk to. Because you're not, you work at the mall. How are you going to come do a, a whole photo shoot in the store when we're running a business? You can't just do that. I'm going to bring more business to you because people are going to be coming into the mall. I mean, in, into your store to do the photos. You're going to have more business, so you're welcome. Who would you get this approved from? I, I don't have to get it approved. I'm Santa. I can be in any store I want. It's in my contract. So just move your shit out, out of the way. I'm just going to be front and center, and I'm going to bring you more business. You're welcome. And, and don't give me any shit while I'm there. Like, I don't need this kind of an attitude. I don't know who you think you're talking to like that, but you're not going to talk to me like that. Well, you're not going to talk to me like that. I'm fucking Santa. Santa, you ain't Santa. you nothing. You can speak to my manager, and then he's going to tell you the same thing. Oh, you're a manager. I knew you weren't the manager. I'm the assistant manager, so you can speak to the store manager. Oh, okay. You were saying manager before. You're just the assistant manager. Hey, how's it going, boss? I'm not your boss, chief. Oh, I do apologize. Who was oh, that? Is, is this the real manager? Yes, this is Brandon. I'm the store manager here. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, this is Santa over here by the J.C. Penny. I'm doing the photos. I'm going to be bringing my... Uh, we're wheeling everything over. We're going to set up inside your store right in the front. Unfortunately, boss... Um, hey, I'm not your yeah, boss. I'm not your boss, cowboy. Don't call me your boss. It's disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful on the phone. You're the Mr. one being disrespectful. You're Sir. calling me boss. Well, what is your name again? What you, is your you, name again? You, I'm you sorry. Do, do you do that to your customers, too? Do you call them what boss? I do. I do call them boss. I oh, that's that's Sir. a really shitty way to be. That's a shitty attitude okay. to have. All right, we lost. <laughs> he calls people boss. You know, the other day, I was getting some gas at the AM, PM. And the gas attendant, he called me boss. And I didn't say anything. I'm just like, sure, yeah, here, here's my card. Fill it up, please. Thank you. So I had to take it out on someone. It's, it's been eating at me all week. That, that fucking AM, PM guy calling me boss. I had to go and be nice about it. Man, they were both kind of hot-headed, weren't they? <laughs> they? They did not like being disrespected. <laughs> Next, we've got a Sprint store. I'm going backwards in the alphabet today. I am on the S's now. So we have got a ways to go. Um, oh man, yeah, this is like the the scroll bar is like not even a third of the way up. We're gonna be here all night. Oh no, no number on the Sprint store though. How about Sports Fever? Whoa, they have a bounce place in this mall. Sports Fever is Lewis. Hey Lewis, uh, this is Gary over at the GNC. Hey, time. Hey, um. Do you think you could keep it the fuck down over there? You're being really loud. The what? Can, can you just please keep it the fuck down over there? You're being kind of loud. <laughs> okay. You know, just, just general conversation. You guys are being really loud over there. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. We know us. We can hear you all the way over here. No, I'm serious. Like, keep it the fuck down, please. What are you talking about, bro? I'm not your bro, chief. 
right, whatever, dude. So, hey, I'm I'm not not your dude, cowboy. All right, homie. I ain't your homie. Keep it loud, we'll keep pal. It loud. We'll keep it loud. Just, just shut the fuck up, all right? We're trying to do work over here. I know you you don't have much business over there. You're just goofing off and being loud, but can you just keep it the fuck down? It's what we do. You're upsetting the reindeer. It's what we do, man. I'm not a man. I'm a woman. Oh. I don't know. I just suddenly had the urge to tell someone to shut the fuck up. So that's why I wasn't Santa in that one. Next is a sleep number. One of those bed places. Can I tell them to shut the fuck up too? Thank you for calling sleep number. John, how can I help you today? Hey, John. This is the Santa over at the JC Penny. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Um... I'm calling to let you know we're going to be moving my whole setup uh, from over here. We're going to be moving it right in front of your store. You know, the, okay. t- for the photo taken. Yeah. So it's all going to be, like, right in front of your door. Like, my throne and the camera equipment and everything. Okay. And just, just everything. Just It's all going to be right there in front of your store. Is that That's not a problem, right? Uh, no, not not with us. I mean, as long as I can bring my daughter over and get her picture taken. <laughs> yeah, of course. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess they'll be moving this guy with the pictures on there. But yeah, no no problem with us at all. Okay, it's just that it's going to be completely blocking your door. I just want to make sure that's okay. So that's okay then. Thank you so much for the permission. Wait, uh, based- like you just mean having it in the center, right? Oh, no, it's going to be blocking the entire door because we have to have like... 10 feet of clearance for the picture taken and anybody walking in would have to walk, you know, in front of Santa and uh, we're going to have ropes up, you know, those velvet rope things. So they're not going to be able to go inside your store anymore. Well, it's, it's just then, for tonight. <laughs> well, no, we still got to smell beds tonight. <laughs> I, I doubt people are coming to the mall to buy beds. <laughs> we're selling one right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to have to wait. Like, um, we'll just we'll let them in periodically, but for the most part, there's just going to be those velvet ropes in front of your door. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. That's great, then. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll be right over with all the stuff. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> hey, Okie what, dokie. What's your sleep number? Uh, like 206. Okay. Yeah, the sleep number is a bunch of bullshit. That stuff doesn't work. Uh, well, you know, sometimes you know, so they just make it up as they go. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Didn't like yours? Oh, no, I've never had one. I just, I, I use a normal mattress like a normal human being. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, even though I'm like a, you know, a otherworldly character, you know, higher I being. I know, you, stuff. You, you need a lot of, you know, sleep after a night like Christmas. That's true, but yeah, I just use a mattress and I'm fine. I don't need a fancy $6,000 bed. Dang, lucky you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm hanging up. We'll see you in a minute. All right. All right, bye. Okay. Tell your daughter to shut the fuck up. Oh, you didn't even hear that. Damn it. Somebody wanted me to ask his daughter's sleep number, fetus. I was afraid that might come across the wrong way. <laughs> Sephora, health and beauty, cosmetics, I think. They're located near the Sears. I think this year's must be, uh, it's now a uh, Forever 21. Thank you for calling Sephora. For hours and directions, please press 1. To speak with the beauty advisor, please press 3. Oh, here we go. This is better. Hello? Hello. Oh, thanks for having support. Is it okay if I place you on a brief hold? Why? This is Santa over here at the J.C. Penny. I'm doing the photos. Yeah. Oh, just a minute, okay? Why? What are you doing? I'm busy. My line's long. Hold on. <sighs> I was already on hold. Why'd she even pick up then? What was the point in picking up? Thank you for holding. This is Erica. How may I direct your call? Hey, Erica. Uh, this is Santa um, over at the J.C. Penny. You know, doing the, doing the photos and all that. Okay, hi. Hi. Um, I'm going to be moving all of my equipment and my throne and just everything, all of our people. We're going to be right in front of your store for the rest of the night. We're on our way over. 
Uh, we're going to be, um, you know, on our way over in about 10 minutes. Uh-huh. And we're just going to be in front of your store for the rest of the night. Oh, okay. Do you want me to let a manager know or just, just wanted to Maybe. let Maybe. Is the manager busy? No, let me get her. Give me one second, we're gonna, okay? Because we're going to completely block your door. Like, nobody's going to be able to get in or out while we're there for the rest of the night. Uh, give me one second, okay? One That's how you talk. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye bye. No, no, put the man. God damn it! <laughs> the truth hurts, I guess. They hang up on me. Yeah, I completely fucked that up. All right, candy store. I'm gonna move, move my shit in front of the candy store. They're not gonna be busy. Hi, thank you for calling Jesus, Diana. How can I help you? Hey, Diana. This is Santa over at the J.C. Penny. You know, the one doing the photos. Yeah. Yeah, um, hey, hey there, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, that's good to hear. Is this actually Santa? Yeah, well, I'm not the Santa. Oh. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I've just got the costume on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be moving my, um, my throne and all of the photo equipment and just everything. We're going to move it right in front of your store, like right in front of your door, uh-huh. in front of your entrance for your store. Uh-huh. So um, okay. we're going to be there in like less than 10 minutes, most likely. We're packing it all up right now. Okay. And we're going to need to plug in inside your store, you know, just plug in an outlet for the cameras and stuff and the lights. Okay. I think that should be fine. Okay, great. Thank you okay. so much. Mm-hmm. Um, it is gonna Do you have a number to give you a call back just in case it's... Just let me just ask sure. to be double sure. Oh, you're going to ask the manager or something? Yeah, just okay. to be double sure. Yeah, that. just let the manager know it's going to block the whole door, the, you know, the entrance okay. to the place. It's, okay, do you have a phone number for this? Oh, no, can you just, um, I can hold. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Oh, thank you. I hear her explaining it to somebody else now. She already explained it to one person. Maybe she's calling on the phone now. And that sucks, because I want a manager to come on. Block all of it. Hi, welcome to see. Did you get a sample? You ready to make the bag in the box? I'll be right back to you. The mall, right? Okay, I'll just tell them that. Yeah. Okay. Isn't there like one like on the other side by the seals right there? Yeah, she's on the phone with her. Not on hold, I'm listening. Oh man, I gotta get this lady's number. Hello? Uh, hello. Hi, so we want uh, we want to know how much of like a blockage is going to be in front of our store. Oh, full blockage. Like I, I'm going to pretty much there won't be go- any going in, into your store or coming out because we're going to have the okay, so we're going to have the velvet ropes up in front of your in front of your door. How long is that going to be for? The rest of the night. 
Okay, let me go ahead and talk to my manager really okay. quick, okay? All right. Yeah, give me just one second, okay? I know. You're, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, she wants to know if it's uh, you guys or is it coming from mall management? Oh, I just want to. Just me personally. You want me to just like, call her up on three-way? I have three-way on my phone. I could just call her up if you have the number. Um, yeah, let me just go. Hey, Stella, he wants to know if you want to do a three-way so it's easier. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, do you want me just to give him your number? I don't know how to do a three-way on my phone. Oh, I can do it. I'll make it happen. Okay. Um, can I get your number? Or let me get her number. Okay. Because, yeah, my, my phone doesn't take calls ever since the incident. Okay. Let me go ahead and give you her number. Um, Stella, go ahead and hang up and we'll call you back. Okay. Thanks. All right. No problem. Can you give me her number? Okay. So the number is... Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. 42. Hey, you want to listen? It'll, and her, her name's Stella. Um, you you want to you wanna listen? Cause it'll be hilarious. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just be on the. If, if I'll be want. on the other way because we're gonna be the ones here. All right here the goes. I'm doing it. Your call has been forwarded oh, to an no. automated voice message. Here, let me. T oh, oh, crud. Okay, fuck, fuck the candy shop. I'm, I'm just gonna call Stella directly. Your call has been. Ah, and it's just going straight to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded. I'm gonna keep trying until she picks up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. I didn't have the phone number written down. Your call I has mean, it, it wouldn't have mattered because she's not picking up. Your call has... Okay, we're going to sit here and do this for like the next 10 minutes. Your until call I has... To, until I talk to Stella. I still enjoyed that one. Listen to her explain everything. Your call has... That there's going to be full blockage. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice... Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Yeah, lady, hang up with Stella. Your call has... Doesn't she have call call wait, waiting on her Your cell call phone? Your call has... I couldn't think what it was called. Your call has been forwarded oh to an God. automated voice... Stella. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message... Well, balls. Okay, let me let me write this down. No, it won't show up on her phone that she has 28 missed calls. Uh... Because it's going straight to voicemail. Like, like, I wonder if she gave me the wrong number. Because if she was talking to Stella, yeah, I'm probably not going to get to talk to Stella. Damn it. That's got to be... Oh, Your shit. call has been forwarded to an... What the hell? There was a ring. Were there rings before? Your call has... Your call has... Un unless she just has call waiting purposely turned off. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Stupid candy shop girl. She messed it all up. At least that candy shop was thoroughly confused. Even the manager that was at home. And we are on the R's now. We're off of the S's. On to the R's. This one doesn't even have a phone number on it. Here's a red robin, which is probably out in the parking lot. Oh no, it's actually in the mall. But I don't really want to talk to a restaurant. Do I? That sounds boring. I want to talk to a restaurant. Thank you for calling Red Robin, home with Spelling Burger. My name is Jolie. How may I help you? Hey, Jolie. This is uh, Santa here in the mall. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, and you? Pretty good. Um, so, <laughs> do you think you could um, like keep your doors shut or something? You're smelling up the whole mall. I can smell it over here. Uh, Red Robin? Yeah, okay. yeah. Smelling of what? You're smelling up everything. Everything smells like your fucking restaurant. Can you please just... Is there a way to shut the doors or like turn turn the vin ventilations on extra high or something? Um, you can talk to my managers about it. It just smells like shit over here. Yeah, you're going to have to talk to my managers because we have to keep those doors open. 
Well, it smell. It makes the whole mall smell like shit. Why can't you just shut the doors just for today? Because we can't. We smell- can't. Until we close, we shut them. Well, that's stupid. Like, you're smelling up the whole store. It's like you don't have any respect for your neighbors. Um, do you want to talk to my manager? Yes. Got it. All right. We got it, apparently. I was going to do something completely different, and I just it slipped my mind right as she picked up. Damn it. I don't want to hold for a manager. I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to end this. Uh, we've got the Raider image. Official team store for the Raiders. Thank you for calling the Raider image. This is your heart. How may I help you? Hey there. This is this is Santa over at the JCPenney. You know, doing the pictures. Uh-huh. Um, do you have any customers in there right now? We do have customers. Okay, great. The mall wanted me to just call up every store today and just spread some holiday cheer by talking to the customers. Um, do you have a customer in there I could speak with real quick? Um, one second. Let me have you over Any here. age. Oh any age is fine. Um, hello? Hello. Is this the customer or is this the manager? Uh, this is one of the employees at, in the store. Oh, okay, great. This is Santa over at the JCPenney. You know, I'm doing the photos. Yeah. The, the mall, they just wanted me to call up every store and just talk to some customers. Just talk oh, to him as, as Santa. Um, because I'm not even sure we're supposed to really be giving the phones to a, a customer. Oh, no, it's, fa- it's fine. The mall said it's fine. They, they want me to do this. I've been doing this all night to all the other stores. I was doing it yesterday, too. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's a normal thing we're doing. Can I get the beanies out? Just say, hey, uh-huh. you want to talk to Santa? It doesn't matter what their age is. Adults are fine, too. All right. Just spreading holiday cheer. Once again. Okay, thank you. Bye. You say goodbye. Hello. Hello, is this a customer or is this the employee? A customer here. Oh, hey there. This is Santa Claus over by the JC Penny. Penny, how, how, how? Hi. How, how? Sorry, I'm not allowed to say ho, ho, ho anymore due to uh, copyright reasons. Oh, okay. Uh, what what are you in there shopping for? Whoa, what happened to my voice? What are you in there shopping for? I'm shopping for my in-laws. The, um, oh, nice. Yeah, what's your... They're in- Raider fans. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, they would be, wouldn't they? Am I right? Oh, yeah. They're fucking in-laws. We're all Raider fans in here. Well, yeah, I guess. But are you? I mean... Yes, I am. Oh, okay. I'm not a big sports fan. I pretty oh. I pretty much think sports are just fucking stupid, you know? Oh, wow. But, you know, that's just me. You know, I, I got a lot more going on. I have a life and everything. I got to, you know, make toys and shit for the kids. Uh-huh. I, got, I got more important things to worry, worry about than sports ball, you know. Watch the, mm-hmm. the little dot go back and forth on TV screen. Like, okay. a, like, a, like I'm half retarded. Like, ugh, sports. Ugh. Was there something you needed, Santa? Oh, no, just, just spreading the holiday cheer, just saying, how, how, how. <laughs> well, thanks, and i got to get back to shopping. Go Raiders. All right, put a different customer on, one that's uh, more cheerful. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, just Bye-bye. hand it to another random customer, you know, just walk it over to another customer. Okay. Just do it. Okay, Santa. Oh, was that a hang-up? Ask if she wants to spread it. Okay. That was dumb. So dumb. All right, there she goes. How, 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 everyone. That was either uh, Devin's thing or um, I Regret Jumping's thing. They were trying to tell me to say who, 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 and how, how, how. I forget why. But I'm pretty sure it's because of copyright reasons. Because the real Santa owns Ho, Ho, Ho. You have to pay, like, a licensing fee to use that. Here's a women's clothing place, which is right next to the men's clothing place where uh, Jesse works. The You know, the one that uh, Abel has a crush on. I wonder if they've hooked up yet. I wonder if they've been introduced and are currently going at it in a back hallway in the mall. I bet you that's happened. I'm just going to assume it has. 
<laughs> Jesse's girl. I could just imagine uh, Abel singing Jesse's girl <laughs> while he's over there making his waffles. Thank you for calling Fashion Coop. Mom, how may I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa over by the J.C. Penny. You know, I'm doing the photos. Uh huh. Uh, we're in the process of packing up all of our stuff. We're going to be moving it in front of your your doorway there. Okay, right in front of Fashion Q, between Fashion Q and um, Sephora? Yeah, well, no, not between. We're going to be directly in front of your door. We're going to be basically blocking your door. Like, if people want to get through, they're going to have to ask us first because we're going to have ropes up. Because uh, I'm going to have my throne on one side, like on the left side, and then the mm-hmm. camera is going to be kind of in the front of the door on the right side. And uh, we can't have people just walking through, you know, while I'm trying to take photos. So, okay. So, um, yep, we're uh, we're gonna be there in about ten minutes. To start setting everything up. We're wheeling. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. I'll let my employees know. Okay. Are Are you the manager? Um. No, she's not in right now. Oh, there's no managers there. Uh. Yes, assistant is. Oh, are you the assistant? I'm, I'm going to talk to her and let her know. Oh, can you talk to her while I'm on the phone? I want to hear. Okay, yes. Let me grab her. Yeah, I want to... Well, you can just tell her, but I'll just listen in. Like, I'll be listening. Um, This is, a, like, basically like a kind of like a house phone. It's not a cell phone. Oh, weird. Like, does it have yeah. the coily cord? No. I can let you talk to her. Oh, Hold okay. Sai. Um, Get it? It's one of the kiosks. And they're letting us know what I guess they got permission to move in front of our place. Hello. Oh, hello, Sai. Excuse me. Oh, it, this is Santa over by the J.C. Penny. You know, I'm doing the photos. Okay. We're getting ready to move our entire setup directly in front of your door. What do you mean directly in front of our door? To where our customers can't come in? Correct. Well, they can come in, but they're going to have to get permission from us because the camera is going to be on one side and my throne will be here on the other side, but we're both kind of in the doorway. No, that's not okay. Well, no, I'm not calling to ask permission. I'm just letting you know it's happening. Um, Well, I don't don't know what to tell you. It's just going to be for tonight, just for the rest of tonight. That's all. Do you have permission from the mall? I don't need permission. I'm Santa. Oh, all right. We got a place called Pink, which is another Victoria's Secret. Wait, did I call Victoria's Secret? I guess that's a different, different store. I guess. Tell me what to do, everyone. Quick, tell me what to do. Quick, quick, hurry. David, I'm Pink. I can help you. Hey, uh, this is Santa from. Uh, you know, I'm over at the J.C. Penny. Yes. Uh, you know, doing the photos and everything. Okay, yes. Um, is this the manager or is this an employee? Uh, I'm an employee. Do you have any um, elf size corsets? Elf size what, I'm sorry? Corsets. Or oh, quarter zips. Quarter, uh, quarter zips? Is that yeah, what Yeah, quarter zips, yes. Yeah. No, 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 zips. corsets. You know, like C O R S E T S. I could be pronouncing oh, okay. it wrong. Oh, okay. Or, uh, let me double check. I'll call one of the managers that you're on the phone, so you could tell her. Let's see what she says. Wait, what? She probably knows more. I said, "Oh, you want to speak one to the uh, to the to the manager to see if yeah, she knows." Yeah. What are you doing there anyway? This is a women's clothing store. Me, I am the cashier. Oh, weird. Okay. Yes. Give yeah. Me a second, I'll please. just talk to a female, please. I gotta. Yeah. Find out about those quarter zips. Sounds good. How? 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 I shouldn't have assumed his gender. Oh, there's Victoria's Secret. It's on the other side of the mall. This was Mr. Big's idea about the quarter zips. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. Yeah, this Christmas song is rocking, isn't it? Listen to it go. It's ramping up. Just you wait. Here it comes. Yeah. 
I kind of want this. So, someone uh, sound cl- sound hound this for me, please. Hello. Thank you for holding. Sorry. Oh, why are you sorry? Because you were holding. Oh no, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's uh, it's just how it goes, you know. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> you gotta hold. You know. Yes, I understand. Oh, uh, this is Santa over at the J.C. Penny. Hi. Hi. Uh, I need to know if you have any elf-size corsets. Um, corset. Oh, corset. I knew I was pronouncing that wrong. I I can't pronounce anything right. I'm sorry. Um, that would be Victoria's Secret. But what do you sell? Sell apparel. Oh shit. Do you want the? What's she saying? Do you want us to call you back on your number? Yeah. What was that a threat? Like, is she trying to to spook me by by saying you got my no, phone it's number? No, not a threat. <laughs> well, it seems like the way she's saying it, she's like, oh, just you know, let him know we have his number. No, she was just saying that we could call you back on your number if we, you know, find what we. If, need. if you suddenly start carrying corsets. No, we are pink, not Victoria's Secret. Oh, did someone else just grab the phone out of her hand? Yeah, I'm the store manager. How can I help you? Is that that why you sound so bitchy? Uh, Maybe. Because you're the store manager? Uh Uh-huh. I'd like to be put back on hold because I really liked that song that was playing. Okay, we can't just put you on hold because you like a song that was playing. Sorry. I want to sound hound it, okay? All right, sounds good. Thank no, you. No, Do you me, want to stick it? Oh, no, put, go ahead and get, and we'll call in your number and have your number ma'am, blocked. Listen here, you're gonna have uh-huh. my number blocked. Is it like we are. Were, were you uh, saying that you have my number just to put the fear into me? It, well, Is that no, what no, that no, was not all at about? All. It seems like no, it was. I don't. You don't need fear. I I just am going to block your number. Oh, I don't need fear. So. What is that a threat? <laughs> Why would it be a threat? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You, you're the one with all the right. bitchy attitude. All right, well, all right. Have a great day. You sound like your name's Karen. Okay. Well, now we know something new. We, we know that Pink doesn't sell lingerie. They sell uh, active wear or whatever she said it was called. I always wondered why there's a Pink Victoria's Secret and then just Victoria's Secret. I never knew. Now I know. Uh, here's a Pandora. It's called Pandora. Hey, Pandora. Yes. Okay. I was. I have a premium account. I was listening to the the Christmas station, and they were playing this oh. this jazzy uh, Christmas song just now, and I want to okay. know the name of it. I'm gonna hold you up on that because this is a Pandora the Jewelry Store. I know. Not the... I know Pandora, and and like just look on the Christmas station. You can look back through the logs, right? Through the server logs. No, I'm trying to say this is Pandora at the, the jewelry store, not the music app. I tried to sound hound it, but the girl at the uh, the pink Victoria's Secret store was talking over it. So uh, sound hound didn't pick it up. That's okay. Um, I was just trying to tell you that this is not the, the music okay, app. Okay, well, can you, can, you get a, a, it, can you get a man to check since you don't know how to use a computer? Sir, do you understand that this is the jewelry store? This is Pandora, right? The jewelry store, yeah, not the the music one. I know. I I was on the Christmas Channel. I was listening on the Christmas Channel, and it was like this, like this kind of like a. I don't even know how to explain it. It was it was like a it was like an updated version of a Christmas tune. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna um, just, actually um, just hand over the phone to one of the associates here. Okay, love. Well, who are you? Are you not an associate? I am, I am. Then why do I need another one? Okay, yeah, that's pr- uh, make sure it's a male one. It's a, it's a what? A, a male, a man. Uh, we don't have any male associates. Uh, right here well, just, right now. okay, fine. Someone that knows how to use a computer. So I don't want to have to cancel my subscription. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for calling Pandora at the Valley Plaza. How can I help you? Hey there. All right, so we need to hurry because Hello. it's going to scroll away. I need to know which song was playing on your Christmas station 
just um, like not even five minutes ago. It stopped playing. Um, and I, didn't, not... I didn't have time to sound hound it. And I don't know how to scroll back. Can you just check the computer? Um, I'm not sure how that we would check that, sir. It's not on the computer. Not a playlist that we have, sir. Well, you're the ones playing it. Like, just look in the logs or whatever. What is it that you need that, that information for, sir? Because I want to know what the name of the song was. I want to save it to my favorites on Pandora. Um, you're actually calling the Pandora. Pandora I know. I'm calling sir, Pandora to find about out about what the, the name of the song was. I, I don't know why you're giving me a hard Literally time. Sore. Why are you giving me a hard time? Just tell me. Okay, so was there anything we can help you with? Okay, listen, can you please Regarding the can, you, can you please stop assuming my gender? That's very offensive. Okay, so was there anything else we can help you with? You're assuming my gender. Can you please stop assuming my gender? Was there anything else we can help you with today? You haven't helped me with anything. I need the name of the song on the Christmas channel. I'm not sure you have the... I, I think you have the wrong number, sir. That's not no, the Pandora I called, you're calling. I called Pandora. And I'm not a sir. Well, I'm a ma'am. You probably, have, uh, you probably have the wrong number. No, I don't. This is Pandora, correct? The jewelry store inside the Valley Plaza Mall? I'm going to cancel my subscription. Was there anything else? Do you want me to cancel? Was there anything else we can help you with? Can you transfer me to technical support? Okay, sir. Transfer me right now. Technical support. Let's go. Yeah, have a good day. Let's Bye -bye. go. Chop, chop. Didn't work. She said okay, and then she just hung up. Not cool. When is the XYZ show coming back? Did he used to do that all the time? That sounds like something he would do. I miss XYZ. He was the best. Or she, not to assume genders, but I liked XYZ. Um, you know, it's about time to wrap up the show. It's I've been on for, uh, what, two hours and 40 minutes now? And only some of that was playing music. Nobody knows what happened to XYZ H-Town. He's just, just kind of had to go. He had to do his own thing. Probably didn't want his job finding about his, his crazy prank call shit. I don't blame him for that. It happens. Oh, hey, hello. Well, I want to hear that again. Thank you for calling Pan Express. Mom, this is Julissa. How may I help you? Hey, this is Santa over at the uh, the JC Penny. You know. Sorry. This is Santa Claus. I'm doing the uh -huh. photos here in the mall. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, and you? I don't have time for small talk, ma'am. You ask. No, I'm saying I don't have time for small talk. I can't just sit here and, and tell you about my day and how I'm doing and everything. Oh. Um, okay. So I'm just calling to let you know that I don't really like you. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, no, I'm just, I'm sorry. It's Don't take it personally, okay? That's fine. I just don't like you. That's fine. All right. Well, um, is, are you having, is it pretty busy there today? Yeah. Okay, well, this has been a great conversation, you know. But I can't sit here and talk all day. I have photos to take. Okay. I'm pretty busy over here. It doesn't sound like you're very busy there. But, <laughs> Maria, yeah. Santa Claus called. He said he doesn't like us. No, not, not, yeah. not both of you. Just you. You personally. Oh, he doesn't like me. I don't know. He says he's Santa Claus. I'm not the real Santa. Don't be stupid. I'm just I just work here at JC Penny. <laughs> uh, you know. Are you done? Oh my god, I forgot to call my kid. What? Oh my god, what? Oh, uh, okay, bye. No wait, what were you saying? What? What were you saying? Oh, I was talking to my manager. What'd you say? What'd you say, oh my God, for? Here, Maria. Ma'am. Hello? Hello, ma'am? Hello? Hello, that girl I was just talking to, 
she took Can the. Help you? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you something. That girl I was just talking to. Okay. It, you know, she she took the name of the Lord in vain. She said, "Oh my God," and I'm very offended. What what happened? I don't know. She said, "Oh my God." What was she referring to? Okay. What was she referring to? I don't know. I I, I cannot tell because I don't know what you guys are uh, talking about. So may I help you? Listen, I am not a guy. Don't assume my gender. May I help you? Okay, just don't call me you guys because there's only one of me, and you shouldn't assume my gender like that. Why did she say, "Oh my God"? I don't know. What was she talking so, about? Okay, may, may I help you? What was she? Because I don't know what are you talking. What, what was she referring to when she said, "Oh my God"? All right. Darn it. I almost thought we were going to get to do a dial tone thing. They were having weird phone problems. All those weird noises at the beginning. <laughs> I regret jumping says the phone sounded like the TARDIS landing. I wouldn't know that because I'm not a big fucking nerd that watches Doctor Who. But, yep, I'll take his word for it. Um, man. 15 minutes. I'm just going to assume I only have th a strict three hours on this Mixler. Uh, please don't correct me, Mr. Biggs. That's going to be my excuse to leave. Uh, but I guess I can scroll through here and find, you know, hand, just, just pick some things. Uh, any requests? I can call Lids, uh, Kids Foot Locker, K Jewelers. Uh, I got to call K Jewelers. We, we got to, we got to do a show inside of their, inside of their store. Wow, thanks, Cactus420. Good evening, if I could call in K Jewelers, this is Sam, how can I help you? Hey Sam, this is uh, Santa over here at the JCPenney, you know, doing the photos. Uh-huh. Uh, I am, um, we're going to be coming up there in just a minute, we're going to be coming inside your store to do a thing. Okay. Uh, I've so got, what? We're, we're going to be doing a thing inside your store, just kind of like a little event. There's going to be a small crowd in there for a short time. Oh, what, was this like and, the company or something? Oh, no, it's just me, just me, Santa doing it. Me, you know, the guy playing Santa here in the mall. Uh, I'm just going just gonna to be coming in your store with the boom box. And I'm going to be playing loud music and rapping over it. Really? Yes. In about 10 minutes. Did they tell you about this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this? Uh, this is Santa, Santa Claus, here at the JCPenney, you know, doing the photos. Yeah. You're gonna be coming with a loud boombox. Yeah, rapping. and do some rapping. Oh. And but there's gonna be this whole thing. Um, there's gonna be a guy that comes in dressed as Jesus Christ in the middle of it, <laughs> and me and him are gonna fight inside your store. <laughs> nice. And then, are there gonna be a bunch of elves running around too? No, but the insane clown posse is gonna show up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're completely ruining this by laughing. Th thanks for nothing. You know, I have not even 15 minutes of show left, and you're just fucking this all up. So now i got to okay. look, look up a different thing. Like, who's who's a jewelry store there in the mall? Like, do you like the people over at Hellsburg? What? The people over at Hellsburg. Do you like them, or are they assholes? No, they're good. Are they right across from you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to prank them. And okay. Can you be quiet while I do it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Hellsburg Diamonds, this is Anna. How can I help you? Hey, Anna, this is Santa over at the JCPenney. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm calling to let you know that I'm on my way over there right now. Uh, I'm going to be doing kind of an act. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and is there a lot of people in there right now? Um, not really. Okay, well, there's going to be, because uh, I'm coming over. I've got, like, a... Like kids behind me and stuff because they just kind of follow me everywhere. I I'm gonna be doing like a musical act inside your store that's gonna end in a uh -huh. in a fist fight. <laughs> no, I'm completely serious, ma'am. I'm gonna be there in about ten minutes. So we're getting set up right now. Uh huh. I'm gonna be coming in there with a you know like a loud boombox and doing like a, a Santa rap thing. It's gonna be fun going to bring in customers really yes 
Okay. So uh, just so you know, that's going to be happening here in just a minute. But there's going to be this uh, other guy that comes in. It's it's all an act. You don't have to get worried. We're just uh, you know, it's just we're just pretending to be in a fight. We're going to get in a fist fight together. Uh-huh. But you don't have to worry because it's just an act, you know. Like it's we're going to be rolling around and wrestling and fighting and stuff, but it's not real. It's just pretend. In the store. Yeah, inside your store. So it's going to get a little bit crazy. We're going to be like bumping into things and fighting. And um, um, do you have a problem with uh, vulgar raps? Like not cursing exactly, but just innuendos. Um, one second, okay? What are you doing? Where are you going? One second. Okay. Oh, no. We're on hold. Hello? You got this, Santa. Oh, thank you. The other jewelry store says, I got this. Everything's fine. No reason to panic. They're not tracing the call. I'm sure of it. This is making my day right now. C- can you see them? Are they panicking yet? Yeah, they're kind of freaking out a little bit. She's getting uh, another guy that works over there. <laughs> Yay. Y- yell over at him to hurry the fuck up. I don't think they're going to get back on the phone. Don't worry, I've got a trace buster on my line. There's no way they'll trace me. It's, I, don't, I don't think they're going to pick up the phone. You yeah. want to try Kevin. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> God damn it, shit fuck. Okay, can, can you go over there and just ask him to pick up the phone? Go over there and ask them to pick up the phone? Yeah, tell them Santa called you and said that you really need to pick up the phone. He's tired of waiting. He's Santa. He's an important person. You don't just put him on hold and not pick up. <laughs> Hold on a second. And say, God damn it. Oh, the first guy hung up. I don't know what happened. He hung up. But I, I guess I'll just uh, sit here for a minute and just, you know, just see if this, these other people come back. I don't know why he hung up. Maybe he uh, took his phone across the hall and it, you know, didn't go that far. Maybe. As far as I can tell, they're right across from each other, though. Oh, I hate this song. So much. I was going to ask that Case Jewelers guy if he, if he knows um, uh, the Waffle Jacks guy. What's his name again? Oh, shit. I can't remember his name now. You know, I should call people up in a strip mall instead of a mall because the mall apparently pays for everyone's electricity, I guess. Or do they? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I should call people in a strip mall and say, hey, this is so-and-so next door. I'm going to bring an extension cord over and we're going to plug into your plugs. And, and you know, for Bitcoin mining. Or we don't want what we're doing. We we don't want what we're doing to be traced back to us. I need to do that on another show this coming week, maybe. Abel, that's his name. Thanks, Doctor, Mrs. Whatever. Doctor, Mrs. What's your face? That's your new name. <sighs> yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna hang up on this one. They're not picking up. Well, here, I'll, I'll leave them on while I'm looking for another place to call. Like, um, what do you guys think? Hot Topic. We got a GNC. I don't think... Yeah, no, I didn't call GNC. I pretended to be GNC. Forever 21. Foot Locker. Foot Locker and Finish Line. I got to call those. All right, here it goes. I'm going to hang up on this first one. It's too bad. Finish line is the final boss. You know, I actually have a final boss. My calls have been coming from somewhere. Not the mall office, but somewhere else. Right, Foot Locker's not picking up. I didn't even have a plan for what to say to them. What am I going to say to Finish Line? Our second to final boss. 
bucket of walnuts says Jesus Christ is his final boss. Thank you for calling Finish Line. This is Jonathan. How can I help you? Hey, Jonathan. This is Santa over at the J.C. Penny. Mm-hmm. Why are you saying it like that? Oh, uh, no. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm just the one doing the photos and stuff over by the J.C. Penny. Uh, yeah, how can I help you? Uh, I'm going to be coming over there in just a minute into your store, and we're going to be doing kind of a thing. For okay. Are you there want to talk to my manager about that? Just like so he can know too? No, because manager's always just like, no, you can't do that. You can't come in my store. I'm just going to come and do it. Are there a lot of custom- uh, customers in there right now? Uh, I'd rather have you speak to my manager. I'll just tell him you okayed it. Nah. Are there a lot of people in there? Kevin. A lot of customers? Can you grab black Air Force low for kids, size 7, please? Yes. No, black. black size 7, kids. Hi, sorry, my associate was having trouble trying to um, figure out what was um, your request. How can I help you out? Oh, this is Santa um, over at the J.C. Penny, and you know, doing the photos. Santa doing photos at J.C. Penny? Yeah, I'm the I'm the guy doing playing the Santa t- this year. Okay. Hi. Uh, um, How can I help you out? Yeah, you're you're that guy I talked to. You're, he already okayed it. I'm gonna be coming in your store in a minute. Do you have a lot of customers in there? Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. We're gonna be doing kind of a thing. I'm just going to... Uh, what kind of thing? Well, I'm, I'm going to be like in there just kind of strolling in and shopping, you know, like for shoes. Uh-huh. And okay. we're, I'm going to I'm gonna get into a fight with someone. No, no, it's, no but that's no, not going to happen. No, listen, it's it's not a real fight. It's going to be with uh, somebody. I know, but ca- I'd rather not have distractions in my store. They're going to be in character, and it's going to bring more customers to you. Uh, I, I'd probably rather not have that in my store. Well, the guy before already told me it was fine. Yeah, I'm, he's not a store manager. I'm the store manager, so I'd rather but not he, have that But he said store. it was fine, and... It's not going to happen. Look, I'm not even calling to ask permission. I'm just letting you know, because I don't and want you I'll to be... call security. I don't want you to be concerned when, we, when I get into a then fist I'm gonna fight. I'm going to call security. There's going to be a guy I'll that comes security. in dressed up as Jesus Christ. <laughs> that idea is never going to work. All right, offended, filthy, lard colored old bag wants me to do a thing that I want to do, because I think it sounds funny. I'm running past schedule, you guys. The, the Mixler is going to shut me down. So hopefully my um, final boss type thing works out. Because I've been making all of my calls come from uh, Amber Crombie and Fitch, I think. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So here, let me change my number so I don't come in as them when I'm calling them. And the show's over, everyone. This is it. It's over. Oh, it's pronounced futch. Sorry. Enough. The AJ speaking can help you. Hey, uh, th- this is Gary over at Hellsburg Diamond. Um, where? H- Hellsburg Diamond here in the mall. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, um, have you guys been making prank calls or something? Because someone called us saying that they were Santa. And that they want to have a holiday party or something with the elves. What do you got mean? The same prank call. You got this. <laughs> oh, you got the same prank call. Yeah, we've been getting. We just got one from Shoe Palace. So I don't know how they're doing calls from our network, but I have not had gave. Well, none of my associates have even access to the phone. Everyone's so busy here. So, well, um, are you sure? Like, cause um, the people next door to us at the other store, they said they got a prank call from your number too. I have no, yeah, we have no one calling out. Um, we don't have anyone using our phones here in our store for the managers Are you um, sh- on the clock. Yeah, so we've been getting prank calls from Shoe Palace. We've been getting prank calls from Hollister, which is our sister store. What did they we've do? We've been getting calls. I don't know what's going on. We've also got a prank call from um, Red Robin, so I don't know what's going on right now. Um, you're disrupting my business. That's so <laughs> weird. Um, what did Red Robin say? Um, I am not allowed to disclose anything that they talked about. Um, we're just, or well, we're was, just trying to make sure. Was it, was it obscene? Because when you prank called our store, you were very obscene. Excuse me? When you prank called our store, you were very obscene. Um, we didn't prank call your store though. Well, no, it came from your number. We know you did. Like, can, can I talk to someone that's not going to lie to me, please? I am... Okay, if you're talking to me, next to me, block your number. It's 832-4292-495, okay? So 
I'm going to go ahead and switch this, and if you are prank calling me, I'm going to go ahead and call the police, okay? No, I'm not prank calling you. You prank called me, but can you put a manager on the phone? I, this is a manager speaking? No, you're There's not a manager. You, you sound like you're 14 or something. Don't try to pretend you're a manager. And he hung up. All right. So, holy shit. <laughs> People haven't been reporting it. They've just been prank calling them back. We've had the whole mall making prank calls to each other. Basically, double the prank calls I've made have happened, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what's happened. And that guy read me my number back to scare me. Just like that one that one uh, uh, bitchy lady at Pink. Is that where it was? Wherever it was. Uh, yeah, I Regret Jumping says this is the last show ever. I'm going to jail for impersonating Santa. It's probably true. I kind of want to do just one more one more call how about American Eagle that can be the last call right Just one last call after the final boss so did Amber Crombie threaten everyone with the police or was it just me okay here is the for real last one this is Bath and Body Works thank you for calling Bath and Body Works at the our store hours are from wait while I transfer your call Bath and Body Works, Jeff speaking. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa over by the uh, the J.C. Penney. You know, doing the photos here in the mall. Yeah. I'm gonna be coming in there in just a minute. Are there a lot of customers in there? Um, yeah, there is. Okay, great. I'm gonna be coming in and just kind of letting people take selfies with me and hamming it up and putting kids okay. putting kids on my shoulder and running around real fast. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And I'll just let them know in the front that you're going to come in. Okay. You're not in the front? Where are you at? I will be in the front right now. I'll wait for you in the front. Okay, um, I'm going to have a bottle of booze with me. Um, can I put that behind the counter while I'm in there? Yeah, that's and, fine. I'll have it for you in the back. Okay, it's alcohol, though. It's fine. I'll have it in the back. And it, it's really, can... like, I'm really smelly. I keep, spell, I, I keep spilling it in my beard because I'm pretty drunk. And I'm okay. just going to come back there every once in a while and just take a swig. Um, I don't know about that, but... When I come there and take a swig, I'll need you to just kind of block, you know, do blocking for me so they don't notice. I'll meet you in the front and then we'll talk about it in the front. Okay, but I'm just going to come in there. I'm going to ham it up with the customers. I'm going to get all crazy. I'm going to pretend fight, pretend fight with some of them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab kids' arms and swing them around in circles. You're like, wee! Um, no, I can't have that. I'll just wait for you in the front. And then no, it's cool. You won't, it's um, cool. I'm, I'm yeah. Santa. I'm really good with kids. Okay, well, that sounds cool. So I will be waiting for you in the front. Okay, I'm going to give, like, you know how some sometimes people buy way too much body spray? No. No, you know what I mean. I'm going to give them shit if I see them doing that. Just, just so you know. Okay, well, we'll have you in the front. You can talk to the manager if she wants to let you come in. No, I, no I, I'm coming in. I'm not asking permission. I'm just letting you know that I, I, okay. I, I am the real Santa from the mall coming in. It's not, okay. just, it's not like an impersonator. Okay, well, we'll around. see you here then. But, yep, um, I will be bringing my alcohol back behind the counter. I'll be leaving it with you. Um, do you have a problem with cursing? Yes, I do. You personally, or does everyone? Like, I'll just. Everybody. Well, when I'm away from the front counter, can I at least curse? Can I innuendo? There she goes. Hey, that was a bingo square right there. Somebody has trouble hanging up the phone. It clicks a lot. They're fumbling around with the phone. That's that's a bingo square. Everyone, mark your bingo squares. So that's the end of the show today. Thanks, everybody, for listening to an entire three hours of this. Fourteen ninety nine per photo. That's right, Seven. I should have told her I'm going to charge. I, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, it's December. Santa doesn't do this for free. Santa should be a doomsday prepper. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Ask if I'm allowed to light 10 to 20 candles. You guys, cut it out. I'm, 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 the show's over. You're making me want to just keep going, but I'm not going to because I got shit to do. I'm hanging up the show. That's what I'm doing. I'm hanging it up. 
Oh, yeah, that last idea was by uh, offended, filthy, lard-colored old bag. You want one of the kids in the store to watch my booze while I take photos? I wanted to do something like that. Hey, Brad. It's deep in the heart of Texas. Hey. I realize I just should not bring up previous episodes to you because you don't really care. Sure you should. I'm talking about. The voicemails are yours. You can talk about anything you want, but come on. This is a minute and a half long voicemail. Anyways. What the hell? Um, hey, I just wanted to bring to your attention, um, I think Google's now starting to solve it, but for the longest time, um, Google would not, like, let me know whenever, like, regarding emails for whenever hobophiles are being posted. The same thing was happening for Super Phone Bros and other, and, like, sort of prank call things. Oh, were they going to not spam? Not for the dick show and not for, like, any other thing, but only specifically your show. Only the Snowplow show would come Weird. up. I don't know if this would happen to other people. Right now, it's starting to kind of work, but for the longest time, I want to say, like, for the past, like, several months, I want to say, mm. and I've called into the show about this before, but, yeah, no, like, um, your hobo soaps will not show up in your One in my emails. Like, it won't show up that, that you released a hobo soap or anything, so I won't know that Patreon, you know, released. So are they going to spam, or they're just not showing up at all? That's Something. weird. So maybe it's, like, a Patreon is not sending out the mailer of the thing. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if any other any other person has had it. Who Anyways, knows? Anyways, just have a great time, man. Hey. Uh, I'm about to go kill myself. Bye. Okay, you have fun with that. Hi, Brad. It's Retina from Nebraska, and I'm on a payphone in Epley Airfield in Omaha. Holy shit. I'm getting shit. ready to travel. But I'm on an on a payphone, and I just wanted to say that, because I know you love payphones. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired of them, to be honest. Between you and Raiden Digital and everyone else, the novelty's starting to wear off. Badad, I'm badad. just like, whatever. Badad, badad. Oh, badad, you're making me feel like I'm going, I'm, I'm going to fade away to an elephant, and that, is, that isn't a good thing. Look, I'm sorry for what I said in the last show. It wasn't me talking, it was the alcohol talking. I forget what was said, but I am sorry. You want to fade away to an elephant. And you sound great today, by the way. I can hear everything. I mean, I it's not the audio quality anyway. Oh, I, I, can... I was going to mention about um, my brother and I used to do this thing. My brother used to do a thing where he pretended to be Santa Claus, and he was spitting. You know, like Santa, and Santa Claus spits in the bath. Spits in the <laughs> not, bath? Not that, my, not, not that my brother was spitting. It was just, it was just pre- pretending to spit. But you could you could accuse someone of of dressing up as Santa Claus and spitting on the kids, and 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 then say that's not allowed. That no, and you you, you shout at them. You get a newspaper and you hit them on the nose and tell them no. That's what I'll do. Treat them like a doggy. I'll spit on them. So Santa Claus spitting on the children at the mall. Bye. Okay, man, it's it's too bad I didn't have this idea yesterday when I did the mall show. I mean, he left this idea yesterday, but I didn't listen to the voicemails yesterday. I suck. I went to the Sheets today for the first time, and I thought of you. Talk Aww. to you later. Bye. Aww. He went to Sheets, everyone. Hey, it's Michael Ball. I'm coming from, calling from Carthage, New York. Uh, me and my wife thought it would be a good idea if you guys had a prank saying that you were making mailboxes and USPS obsolete by installing new mailboxes that are 3D printers and people are going to have to pay for, like, the cartridges that go into them, and they don't have a choice, basically. Yeah. All your packages now, All your packages now come right hey, here. Hey, tell your wife in the background to shut the fuck up. Mailbox. So they'd have to add that onto their electric bill or uh, natural appliance bill. Yeah. Thank like you. That. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not very efficient, either. They eat up a lot of electricity. Sorry, wife, I didn't mean to say that. That just came out wrong. You know what I meant. Hi, Brad. It's Kachu again. I don't know why I got just got cut off from my last voicemail I left a second ago. Oh, but, does that mean I have to play uh, your other one? Yeah, you're uh, just, just saying that you're my hero, and I oh. love you. I love you, Brad. Thanks. I love you. Um, Thank you. Also, why does your voicemail phone ring? Like, if it's just for us, yeah, why would I don't it know. Ring? It's kind of annoying. To I see. mean, the whole point of the Google Voice thing, I guess, is that you have one single phone number and it will ring all of your phones at once. But even when you don't have that hooked up, it's still going to ring. Or I don't, is it possible to unhook those and just make it a voicemail only? I don't think that's possible. I think it has to ring phones. You can't just have a Google Voice account with no phone number attached to it. I don't think. Maybe you can. I don't remember. 
but I have mine hooked up. Whenever a person calls into the voicemail, my desk phone rings silently. I don't hear it or anything, but I see it blinking, and I could pick up if I wanted to. So maybe it's my fault. It sure would be nice if I could change it from five rings to two rings, though. Here for 15 seconds waiting for your phone to ring and go yeah, to voicemail. Yeah. I'm running up your international charges. I'm sorry. You should just make it go straight to voicemail. I can't. I don't know. I just explained anyway, that. I'll, um... I'll, uh, I'll see you soon in person. I'll see oh, you. Shit. Bye-bye. Okay. Sounds like a threat. I guess we'll play his other voicemail, which is also... Hi, Brad. 48 songs. Uh, this seconds. is... Uh, well, on Discord, I'm Kachu. On Mixler, I'm Mew Kachu. Hey, Mew. Kachu. Uh, Kachu. Whatever. And you played my voicemail, of, like, probably 10 episodes ago. I'm the guy that just got out of prison, and I want to support you on Patreon. That's crazy. I wanted to let you know I got a job. It sucks. It's, it's a really shitty job, but Those I'm one step jobs. closer to becoming a Patreon member. Oh, that's uh, great. I still listen to all your shows. You're, you're integrating into society by getting a job, but more importantly, becoming a Patreon. It's like they don't come out as often as they used to, so that sucks ass. But, you know, when I'm a supporter, then I'll get to listen to the hobo shows at least. Yeah, that's um, true. But you're my hero. And, and that's That's where it cuts off, it looks like. That was a two-part long voicemail. And yeah, I'm sorry. I've been slacking off. I mean, basically, I only did one snowplow show last week. I mean, I kind of did two. I consider Sunday the last day of the week and Monday the beginning of the week. That's how I look at it. So I sort of did two shows last week, but it didn't come out. You know, I'm, I'm putting it out today on Monday, the beginning of the week. So I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I don't know. December's been crazy for me. And I feel like I've done less shows than I normally do. I'm going to try and get better at that. I'd like to do three shows a week. By the way, I did do, yesterday, I did a um, uh, Mr. Dobblino's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. I forgot to mention that on the beginning of the show. So if you go to worldofprankcalls.com, there is another show. But it's, you know, of course, it's old pranks. It's uh, a bunch of mall Santa pranks from this year and last year all mixed together. So you might hate listening to that because some of it's stuff that just happened last week. Just a warning. I mean, I picked all the best ones, but you just heard them. So that probably sucks. That didn't even count. I just wanted to do a Christmas-themed Mr. Dobelina show. Hey, Brad. It's Coleman from Oregon. Hey, Coleman. I just wanted to say that you're a fucking boss and keep up the good work. Don't, don't call me your boss. I you every single fucking day of my life, and I will continue to do that as long as you make content. Thank uh, you. Bye. Hey, thank you. See, that's the correct way to call someone a boss. You don't just go up to someone and say, hey, boss. Hey, Brad, it's Coleman again. I just needed to let you know that you spelled my name wrong. I have no E in my name, just so ah, you know. shit. Um, that'll be it. Sorry. Uh, also, by the way, Cactus. Where did I spell it wrong at? I played both of his voicemails because they were both very short. Thanks for making short voicemails, Coleman. This is Rigel from Colorado. You rock, dude. Hey. Oh, cactus, cactus. Rigel. That was a five-second voicemail. That was awesome. Everyone should do that. That guy is making up for this voicemail, which is a minute and a half long, and I'm not going to play hey, it all. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. Um, um, oh, uh, I, sorry. I was just feeling a little bit awkward because I heard that voicemail by Natalia Srod. Uh, oh, and yeah, you know, she's a, she's a female and everything. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> well. that, was, that was cool. Um, anyway, um, yeah, and by the way, speaking of her, she's in North Carolina, too. Oh, my God. Who's not in North Carolina? I, don't, I, I missed who we're talking about. The voicemail had, I, I don't even know what message I have on the oh, voicemail. The people, that, the people that have actually said on the voicemail are from North Carolina. I mean, Gloria, myself, Natalia. Uh, yeah. uh, set, set up a meetup. Have a meetup over in North Carolina. Monkey It'll be Boy, awesome. Who, by the way, is a former carding victim. If you didn't know, from 2015. Yeah. I always forget that. Yeah. I mean, Brad, come on. you got to make it to North Carolina. There's got to be some way for yeah. your probation. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. It's really cool that you called uh, the Fuller Roadways town. And I love that everybody... Uh, everybody in that town recognized that not only what Solar Roadways was, but how much of a scam it is. Yeah. And well, only one guy called it a scam because the other guy, he was just saying it was a scam because of the way I was acting. But that old man, he was great. He told it like it was. It's really cool that uh, you listen to Thunderfoot because it's one of my favorite videos to listen to. Is Thunderfoot ranting about stuff because yeah. he just repeats the same. He makes stuff. physics fun because he basically trolls people with it over and over again, and it's 
kind of boring, but very, very slightly entertaining. Perfect for the sleep, too. Yep. All right. See you, bud. See you, bud. Bye-bye. I will watch hour-long Thunderfoot videos of him just talking shit about someone because it's funny. He's a pretty amusing guy. Hey, Brian Diesel again. I was down the hill here in Los Angeles, and uh, I had dropped off some flowers at the my dead movie theater when it died. Mm-hmm. Like, however many years ago, I leave flowers there every year. But anyways, Rest in peace. I was trying to go to Sizzler, and I saw a payphone, and I went, and, and it worked, so that's pretty amazing. It's on the, the corner of Sepulveda and Balboa. And I had some other shit I was going to talk about, but I can't remember, so let's just make it short. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Are you pronouncing it Raiden Digital? I thought it was Raiden Digital. But what do I know? This call is for Bradley Carter. Bradley, this is Dr. Gers Burns. Oh, I'm shit. calling about your test results. I gave them the wrong number again. I hate when I do this. There, Ian. Um, it seems that you have stage four incurable wiener cancer. Um, so you will need to install a urinal in your bedroom. Oh, yes. Uh, preferably in the wall. Uh, without any plumbing, so that it drains right into the wall. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know, once again, stage four incurable wiener cancer. Yeah. Have a good day. Love you. Bye. I love my incurable wiener cancer. It's the best. I probably deserve it after all the prank calls I've made. Hi, Roy. It's me, Natalia, from Mother Russia. Hey, from Natalia. North Same thing. Mother Russia, North Hi, Carolina. How are you doing today? Another North Carolina person, Crimson. Natalia, you got to go to the meetup that Crimson is um, organizing. So I was listening to the June, the Snowplow Show from June 25th, 2015, at around 31 seconds in. This sounds like a complaint. What are you going to complain about? Um, you have a caller that doesn't identify themselves. They say that they have a kid and they're naming it, naming it after you. They're naming it Carter, and yeah. the baby was going to be born in two weeks. What a dumb name. Uh, do you know anything about your little namesake or anything? What, do you think I should sue them? Because they can't do that. Like, do y'all keep in contact? He's, you know, I can't do math, but if he was born in, like, 2015 and it's, what, 2019. Yeah. So he's a couple of years old. Yeah, a couple. And the guy said that you were going to be his godfather. Uh, just wanted to know if, uh, oh, he also said he was going to send in his, um, the birth, con birth control, oh, goodness, the birth certificate into you <laughs> i never got that so yeah you can let me know if that if uh if your namesake is doing okay thank you have a good day bye yeah i haven't heard anything since that voicemail and i, I think i sort of remember it but i don't think anything was said after so maybe the guy after having a kid decided to grow the fuck up and stop listening to prank calls that kind of happens sometimes when people get married or find girlfriends or whatever. They're like, you know what? Prank calls are pretty stupid. What am I doing with my life? Now I've got a kid named Carter, and that's barely even a first name. Who names their kid Carter? Hey, Brad. It's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. Um, yeah. I mean, there's Carter in uh, Carter Hayes in Pacific Heights, but he was a psychopath. If you name your kid Carter, he's going to end up being a psychopath. Caitlin. Um, Merry Christmas. Thanks, I was just Caitlin. calling to say I can't find the um, show, but there's one show you did where you were looking for apartments with Carol, and uh, you were like, "Hi, I'm Brad, and I'm Carol," and then you both <laughs> said at the same time, "And we're looking for an apartment." Oh, that's something. amazing! And that cracked me the fuck up. So you should do more of those, please. Yeah, uh, where you're both talking together at the same time. I think that's really funny. Um, okay. It's kind of well, hard to do, though. Merry Christmas, cactus, right. cactus. Thanks, blah, blah, blah. you too, bye. Because there's like a slider switch on here. We're like, this is my voice. And this is Carol's voice. And I have, have to hit a button to go from one to the other. To the other. To the other. But then to combine our voices, I have to uh, put it on the Carol voice and slide the thing halfway down, down so we're, we're both talking. talking. And, and I, I think, think I sound louder than, than Carol. Carol. I can adjust, adjust it, it, I guess. guess. Hello, hello. But then... To talk as Carol again, I have to put the slider back up. It's very confusing. I don't know if I can handle doing that for very long. I could be like, yeah, me and Carol, we're so in love. We're always just finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> It'd be so cute. Yeah, I should do some more of those, even though they're kind of confusing to do. Hitting all these buttons and shit. Hey, Brad, long time caller again. You know, I hate to bring this up. I think I'm an easygoing guy. I don't like confrontation, but... Mm -hmm. This has gone on long enough, and What's that? somebody has to say it. All right, let's hear it. It's hexagonal. 
not hexagonal. Oh, is Say it? it right. Great show. Keep it up. Talk later. Bye. Hexagonal. Now, that sounds stupid. I'm going to stick with hexagontal, or probably I'm just going to continue to never use that word again for the rest of my life. That seems more likely, unless I do another Solar Roadways show, which I probably won't. Or maybe, hey, I don't know. Hey, Brad, it's King Richard. Oh, hey. I'm recording the end segment for my show and demonstrating to my idiot fans how to leave a voicemail. I wow. promoted the zine at the top of the show, so don't forget to cut me my check, you fuck nut. Okay. All right, yep. I love you. Bye. I will have that five bucks in your PayPal as soon as I finish with the voicemails, King Richard. And if you want to hear this voicemail from a different perspective... Go listen to King Richard's show at anotherprankcallshow.com. And hopefully you all know about the zine by now. It's located at worldofprankcalls.com slash zine. It's called Do What Now? It's a zine all about prank calls. How could you possibly not want to read that? In fact, if you want a copy of it, I will send it to you. Just send me an email, show at snowplowshow.com. And you can be nice about it and PayPal me a dollar. Or you can just ask me, say, hey, I'm a cheapskate. I don't want to pay you a dollar. Can you just send me a zine for free and include your address? Don't make me have to write you back and ask for your address. We don't really plan to mail these things out to people, you know, for money. But it costs 52 cents just to mail it. And if you pay me a dollar, that'll make up for the people that want to be cheapskates. I'm only doing this because it's a new zine and we want people to see it. But you can just print it out yourself. That's easier, right? Worldofprankcalls.com slash zine. I am really behind on voicemails, everyone. And it's entirely my fault because I'm not doing enough shows. So I think I'm just going to listen to maybe three more here. I've got some here that are from uh, 10 days ago that I still haven't played. Sorry if I haven't played your voicemail, everyone. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Punk Queen. Okay. Hey, um, Punk Queen. I know I called. I guess now it's my third time. Um, Did you? I thought I'd call and I just say, why not? Uh, I just, I'm going through a really bad breakup right now. But I still want to say that I love the show. Um, it's uh-huh. like another hang up the phone show. I mean, I'm sorry. That sucks. That you're going through a bad breakup. There's my second voicemail. Free. Um, I kind of hope to be a recurring character such as Crimson or um, the Aussie guy or whatever the hell. One of the horns has daughters. Um, but I thought I'd just call uh, the voicemail and say, uh, still love the show. And I hope to hear a lot of really care. You know, play my voicemail, do whatever. You hope to hear what? Um, wait, wait, what? Call. And I hope to hear a lot of really care. You know, play my voicemail, love the show. And I hope to hear a lot of really care. You know, play my voicemail, do whatever, why not? Um, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Brad. I love you and goodbye. Oh, thank you. Sorry to hear about your breakup. Sorry that I do not understand what you want to hear more of. Hopefully, I do it anyway. <laughs> Hi, Brad. You know, I didn't talk to you. I didn't watch the show in so long. So, I don't remember my phone was horrible going outside. Yeah. I just remember I'm 14 now. And um, I didn't watch you. You're 14. Why, why are you driving in your convertible while you're leaving a voicemail? God damn it. Since I was nine years old. I just remember all of that, like, kind of surprising years. That's pretty crazy. So, I just wanted to thank you for all those good times. An entire third of your life has been consumed by PLA. I've been watching you since nine. I just wanted to thank you for all those good old times. Sure. All the f- good old times you made me laugh. Anytime. I'm glad you've lasted five whole years listening to me. Hopefully they were in a row. I didn't stick with anything for that length of time at that age. That's pretty hey, crazy. Brad. It's Roland P. Givens from Texas. Hey, And Roland. I just want to let you know, uh, you need to get that shit out of your yard because, you know, I'm about to start showing my house and you've, you've got all this shit in your yard. It's making the neighborhood look like a bunch of hobos. Okay, bye. I don't have to get shit out of my yard. I'm leaving it all right there. Now I'm going to leave it there for spite. You know what? Because I just don't care. You know, you're leaving the neighborhood anyway. Why do I have to be nice to you? It's not like you're going to be my neighbor. And whoever moves in there, I'm going to tell them you were a shitty neighbor. I'm going to tell them all kinds of crazy shit about you. You know that guy you bought your house from? He was a rapist. That's what I'm going to say. Take that, Roland. What do you think about that? In fact, I'm going to go clean out my basement. And I'm going to put more shit in my yard. I'm going to take all the shit out of my basement. I'm going to put it in my yard. Just shit everywhere. Take that, Roland. Okay, I'm done with the voicemails, done with the show. Hope you enjoyed it today. Sorry, Roland, for saying you're a rapist. That was was a little too far over the line, I think. I'm sure Roland is a very nice guy, even though he's telling me to clean my shit out of my yard. 
Uh, thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Raiden Digital, Sean L., B.I. Eber for Life, SimSpeak, and Boca Recovery Center. They support the show to keep a lot of shows happening, and you should too, by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. There are several different ways that you can support the show if you want to support the show. Thank you, everybody that does that. I really wanted to end my show today with that one um, hold music song that was playing on Pink's hold music and I really tried to get that song to identify with Shazam, and it just wouldn't do it. I talked over it too much. It's kind of a bummer. Maybe YouTube will recognize what it is, and they'll send me an email and say, Hey, you're playing copyrighted shit. We're taking down your ads. Hopefully that'll happen. But instead, on today's show, I guess I'm going to play Crud Bump. Have I played Crud Bump this year? Here's a song by Crud Bump. You know what time of year it is? It's Christmas time. Is Justin here tonight, by the way? Because if he is, everyone should follow him. In fact, everyone should follow uh, Devin. Devin does shows. Um, Daisy, she just posted. Scroll back until you see Daisy post. Because she just posted something up there. I swear, I'm scrolling back. I don't know why. Yeah, she, she wrote woo. Everybody follow Daisy. Uh, Corbin's Corner on Mixler. Follow him. He does... He plays music and he plays prank calls. He plays PLA prank calls sometimes, which is cool. So everyone should follow Corbin and Devin and Daisy. And I don't think Justin's on. And I don't think you should follow Biggs because he doesn't do a show on this account. Screw Biggs. Anyone else that should be followed? Does any, anyone else need followers? I order everyone to follow Thunderfoot on YouTube. Wait, no. Stop it. I regret jumping. Who else needs to be followed? Snappy Bakes, do you do anything on your mixer? Probably not. I don't know. Oh, Fun Society Arcade's on. Hey, it's Fun Society Arcade. Thank you for the box of stuff. Uh, he sent me a box of uh, stickers and some kind of candy bar, and I can't reach it from where I'm at. It's right over there. A bunch of weird shit. It was great. Thank you, Fun Society Arcade. I appreciate it. Uh, live pranks and hijinks right now, apparently. Uh, to hear those, just follow Default Urine on Mixler, and he's going to rebroadcast the live pranks that are on Hijinks. But you know what? I'm looking on Hijinks right now. I don't see any live pranks. I think he's full of shit. There's nobody in any room. I mean, there's like one person. It's a bot. There's two people. They're both bots. There ain't no live pranks happening. Default Urine is full of shit. So nobody else needs followed. Have you all followed Daisy and Devin and Justin? We should have just all post URLs right now. Everything that needs to be followed. And Corbin, don't forget to follow Corbin. Click on Corbin's name right now and click follow. But don't click it if it says follow him because that means you'll unfollow him and then he'll be pissed. Follow the guy from the mall pranking the other stores. Follow Thunderfoot. Click on Thunderfoot's name. Click on the follow. Airhead might do a show at 10. 10 what? It's 620 where I am. What are you talking about? Uh, lemonparty.org everyone follow Lady Gaga not a fan of her music personally I would never play her shit on this show tubgirl.com everyone go to that 10FM 10FM everyone www.www.org Bad Thoughts says that everyone should follow Devin and Daisy apparently he has a problem with Corbin because he didn't say Corbin and Corbin's right there why are you being an asshole to Corbin everyone follow Corbin's Corner don't listen to Bad Thoughts follow Corbin's Corner too. Graveyard Goons on YouTube. Travels with Miriam. That's a good one to follow. Thanks Default Urine. Everyone follow PrankNet and do what they do. You know, call up some hotels, get them to eat their own shit and masturbate. It's always funny when someone does that. Special Christmas thing on I Regret Jumping's YouTube in a few days. Oh wow, Seven actually heard me sneeze. I thought I covered the mic. I didn't think anyone would hear it. Everyone follow Skunk Works. Follow him right to prison. This is a good show, everyone. I'm just going to sit here and read the chat room for nine hours. That's what I'm doing. Eastern Standard Time. PLA Christmas thing. Yay. Everyone follow Cat Astrophy. We're, we're watching Bed Knobs and Broomsticks tonight. It's going to be good times. It's a magical movie. It's a magical holiday movie. So much better than the Corn Dog Man that we watched last night. Skunk Works 2020, everyone. You wouldn't joke because you're Santa. 